gentlemen, I've just been informed that contaminoids are currently approaching the lower section of the city. As a result, we'll be delaying our departure until the situation is under control. Please remain calm and seated. As a reminder, this vessel has been designed to withstand an attack. However, things might get a little bumpy. Do this. Don't get nervous. Worrying about it will only make you sick. Just remember to relax. Oh, come on. What kind of advice is that? All the kid needs to remember is to strike hard and strike fast. It doesn't take that much effort. You're wrong. As a Heaven's Blade, you have to strike with everything. When battling contaminoids, you grant no quarter and show no mercy, giving it all you've got. You must use your strength and techniques to the fullest. That is the only way you can achieve absolute victory. getting to test your skills against a six-stager like Mbiku here, then Her Majesty must have a lot of faith in you. Hope you're ready for this. Restoration. Mighty Pierce and Smash! <laughs> you idiots, move! I guess that's why the old crone told us to fight it in the outer areas, and not near the city proper. That old crone can hear you, Lingtons. I can also hear Mbiku regenerating. Let's see what the kids got. What's gonna happen to the 17th platoon? I'm assuming it'll be disbanded and you'll all get reassigned. I do appreciate you wanting me to stay in your unit, Nina, but I've already made up my mind, okay? At least give me until the end of the competition. You have to follow my orders. I'm your platoon leader. Well, not anymore, you're not. <laughs> Restoration. <laughs> Once I've turned in my badge, I'm no longer part of this unit. And I'm unarmed. Attacking me would get you nothing but expelled. Wait! Get a hold of yourself, all right? Let go of me, Harley. You've got to calm down. I can't just sit back and let our platoon get disbanded like this. Let go! 
We just have to find a replacement. Today's the entrance ceremony, so there should be plenty of new students to choose from. And who knows? Sharnie's legendary skill at picking up girls might actually come in handy today. Ooh, I'd welcome having more chicks on the squad. I bet you would. <sighs> Look, there they are! New students, please assemble inside the main auditorium. <laughs> Uh oh, she's got that look. Whoa! Check out the big guy. We could use him on defense! See his uniform? He's not even in military arts. Then that guy! Nope, he's already been recruited. How about him? He's been snatched up too. What the hell? Has everyone new already been taken? Well, it does look like all the good ones have already decided which platoons to join. See? It's good to have you aboard. Besides, with the way our luck's going, I don't even know if we could find a replacement willing to join our sad little group anyway. Maybe I'll replace you. Uh, He's in military arts. <laughs> Look, Dean, I'm sorry, but I saw him first, okay? He's mine, so hands off. Have you forgotten how you failed this city two years ago? Hey, wait. Well, I haven't, so don't talk to me that way again, understand? Dean! <laughs> don't let him get to you. Yeah. You're right. There has to be some new students left. Let's try another area. Okay. We can probably find some new ones before they go into the auditorium. I'm not gonna make it. We're too late. Crap, now it looks like most of the new students have already gone inside. In that case, why don't we come back once the ceremony's over? All right, then. Weekly look in. Mind if I take your picture? Oops, I already did. I'm sorry. <laughs> so pleased to meet you. You're not in a uniform, but you're a new student, aren't you? So, you got a name? Yeah, my name's Leif Van Alsif. So, um, what exactly is Weekly look in? You mean you've never heard of it? It's only the number one selling magazine in Zwolny Academic City. I'm currently working on a potential cover story for the magazine, and it's titled, Who's the Most Handsome New Student? You don't mind if I ask you a few questions, do you? You are such a phony. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't work for the magazine. You're a new student who just got here. Uh, well, that is sort of true. I am a new student here. And I guess I should have clarified that I don't actually work for the magazine. Not yet, at least. But I re I submit this article. The editors of Weekly Look In will buy it on the spot. It'll knock their socks off and take their breath away. She goes a little overboard. But she has a lot of spirit, doesn't she? That's one of the reasons we're friends. And speaking of which, let me introduce you to everybody here. First of all, I'm Mithi Roten, an aspiring journalist. Oh. This is Naruki Galni, aspiring police officer. And Mason Trained in here wants to be a baker. It's nice to meet you. The three of us are first year students from Yorton Transit City. So what city did you come from, Leifon? Another cover story. Jeez, those guys should be fighting in a training hall, not outside. Restoration! He's got a date! Oh no! All right! That's it. We're gonna need a senior military art student to break this up. I'll go find one. <laughs> Corneo, that's him. That's Leifon down there, isn't it? Yeah. Over there! Stop it! Right now!
May I come in? Please do. I'm Callian Loss, president of the student council. It's the day of the entrance ceremony. Can't we knock off doing this today? Sharnie and Belly aren't even coming. Um, hey, Harley. What did you think about him? Who are you talking about? The new student, the one who saved that girl today? Nina, come on. Drop it. He wasn't wearing a uniform, so he's more than likely a general education student. But even if he's not, I heard the student council president sent for him anyway. Maybe he's getting expelled. Oh, no. I'll be right back. <gasps> hey, nice catch. Try to be more careful with these things. As you're aware, Zwellny Academic City is operated solely by the students who live within it. My being president of the student council essentially means that I'm in control of this city. Therefore, I have the authority to make decisions in Zwellny's best interest. So you're a first-year general education student, yet earlier today you demonstrated skills that would make a senior military art student look like an amateur. I take it you know a thing or two about fighting. I suppose you could say that. Leifon Alsi visit, a student on the work-study program. It says here your job is cleaning the machinery department. That's certainly not the most glamorous job to have here. Also, your scholarship is only at it will barely cover your tuition. I'm aware of that. It will also be rather physically demanding, won't it? Yeah, don't worry, I'm strong enough. I think that strength would be put to better use in military arts. <gasps> I've bumped your scholarship to an A ranking. And I've waived your tuition. That should make your transfer a little easier. My transfer? Wait, hold on a minute. I don't want to be in military arts. Over the past two years, we've lost Cernium mines by being defeated in the municipal challenges, and now there's only one mine left powering the whole city. If we lose that one, Zwellny's dead. Huh? Which is why we need your strength to fortify our military, Leifon. Look, thanks, but all I want to pursue in Zwellny is general studies. I'm sorry, but the welfare of the city has to come first. Therefore, as of right now, you're in military arts. Wait, you can't... Pardon me? Oh, ladies. <laughs> oh, he's going to be getting all new clothes now. So please dispose of his old ones. Wait, stop yes, it! Sir. Those are my pants, you know. Not anymore! Excuse me. Mr. President, I came to ask you... <laughs> oh, well, if it isn't the captain of the 17th platoon. Miss... Uh... Nina Antok, sir. And I'd like to request that I be allowed to take... Uh... Maggot, tell me your name. It's Leifon Halsey, ma'am. Well, Captain Antok, what is it that you're requesting? Leifon. Please let me have him for my platoon. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow in the training hall. The men's dorms are right over there. See ya. By the way, that uniform's a perfect fit. Did you hear that? Uh, it was kind of hard not to. I'm sorry, but when I get really angry, I scream into this tank and I feel a lot better afterwards. Really? Um, hey, were you the person who sent me that nanny energy earlier to let me know that girl was in danger? Hmm. You decided to transfer to military arts? Not exactly. It was more like I was forced to. It's the same batch. I guess that means you're in the 17th platoon too, aren't you?
almost there, you guys. Just a few finishing touches and my sure-to-be award-winning article will be ready for submission. <sighs> Good, I can't sleep with all your typing. Huh? Are you feeling okay? Huh? Don't worry, I'm not sick. <laughs> no, you're sick all right. Huh? Love sick because of him! May, can you hear me? Wow, she's got it really bad, huh? Big brother. Um. Coward. Trying to kill me, Zobolus? <laughs> I saw you up there, kid. I was just testing your reflexes. <laughs> 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 I see. Hacking off a piece or two won't do a thing. If we want to kill it, we have to kill all of it. A series of fast attacks might work, but we'll have to keep attacking it until there's nothing left of the damn thing. This is gonna require all of our individual techniques and all the K we can summon. If we blow this, we won't get another chance. Let's go! <laughs> up here is me! Okay, I guess, but he was a little showy. What are you saying? A Heaven's Blade is supposed to show off their strength and abilities to achieve victory, and that's exactly what that boy did today. Sure, whatever, old man. Oh! Silence! Of course he's going to show off with that blade. And can any of you here blame him? He's like a child with a new toy right now. Let the boy have his fun. Mobile cities we live in, the Regios. To us, they're our entire world. But when someone we care about leaves them, that world becomes a lonely place. I really wish you weren't going, and I'll miss you terribly. But I do understand why you want to leave and start over somewhere else, Lathan. And I'll respect your wishes to do so. However, one day...
Once the assault teams have cleared these bridges, destroy them! We can't let the enemy reach our soil! Move out! We'll make a smaller target by splitting up. Nina's not here yet, sir. Too bad for her. Now move it! Sir! sir. Almost there, just a little farther. Stop! What the? It's a trap! If you'd gone any further, you would have been blown to pieces. Sloman's flag has been captured! If you hadn't pulled me down, we would have won! If I hadn't pulled you down, you'd be dead right now, maggot. Well, if it would have saved Swellney, it would have been worth it! We got into coming through. Out of the way! We trained for months, and we came so close to victory. But in the end, we failed. That's gonna cost this city dearly. <laughs> I'll kill him if I find out that he ran away. You dragged him in against his will, so if he did, I can't say that I blame the guy. What's that? I meant, where could he be? This is a pretty big place. Maybe he just got lost. I doubt it. You're just making excuses. Yeah, so that Nina won't kill him. <laughs> I meant, I'm sure he'll be here soon. Uh, hey, sorry I'm a little Guys, late. Guys, allow me to introduce you to Leifon Alsi, the newest member of the 17th Platoon. Uh, yeah, look, about that, I... This is Sharnita Lipton. He's our fourth-year sharpshooter. Hey, how's it going? And that's Harley Sutton, our third-year Daite mechanic. Nice to meet you. Um, and this is actually... Feli Loss, our second-year Nenny operator. Um, you see, the thing is... Then there's me, Nina Antok, third-year military arts student and the leader of this platoon. I gave you a membership badge. Why aren't you wearing it? It's because I can't become a member. I've got a night job cleaning the machinery department. Oh, you can handle both, trust me. Restoration. <laughs> There's no need to get nervous. I'm just gonna give you a test. Harley, could I get a little competition? So let's see how you fight. What do you mean, next competition? Here you go, Leifon. Take a practice die tape. Huh? None of them have been loaded with any user data yet. Which one do you want to use? Well, anyone will do, I guess. Restoration. <laughs> I just hope you're ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time I've seen anybody shrugging off an attack from Nina. <laughs> wow, you're actually pretty good at this. But I'm even better! External Ballistic K? Huh? I said External Ballistic K. Of course. Then use it! What the doctor say? With some rest, Lathan should be able to rejoin us soon. Well, that's good. No, it's not. Huh? 
Was it just some fluke that he managed to block my first attack? When I saw that, I thought, wow, what a great addition to the platoon. But then why the hell didn't he try to move when I launched that blast of K? By bringing this guy in, have I made a big mistake? Look, it was his first day. Don't worry, he'll get better. Yeah, and with the right training, we'll whip him into shape. Sure we will. the amount of internal augmenting K that you have in your body. If you say it hurts, you're just faking. I just fell to the floor, so it does hurt, okay? Why would you think I'd be... Huh. <sighs> um, Senior Felly? Now I know the reason for my brother's deception. It was all about getting you in the 17th platoon, my fawn. Brother? What do you mean by deception, anyway? Huh? The resignation of one of our former members in that fight outside the auditorium. They were both just schemes devised by my brother, the student council president, to get you to join the platoon. Huh. I'm sure this sounds crazy to you. Actually, my left arm is slightly longer than my right. Since I was a last-minute addition, this uniform shouldn't fit so perfectly, but it does. I was wondering why it fits so well. Guess that answers my question, huh? Exactly. Now why don't we talk about your deception, Leifon? Wait, what are you talking about? Your inability to beat Nina earlier today. It was all an act, wasn't it? Do you know much about many operators, Leifon? We have the ability to manipulate objects through telekinesis and extract information through psychometric touch. We can also see and sense that which can't be seen and learned empathically. Nenny isn't the kind of thing you can just pick up and learn. It's more like something you have to be born with. Isn't that right? That's correct, and I just so happen to be born with an abnormally large quantity of Nenny. Huh. My brother wanted to take advantage of this for Zwilni, so I was forcibly transferred into the military arts department just like you. I truly despise my brother. I'll do whatever it takes to win, no matter how underhanded that may be. So just continue to keep your strength a secret, okay? So this is the heart of the city. Excuse me. I'm starting work here tonight and don't know where to check in. Give me a sec. I'll be right up. It's been tough since our other guy quit, so I'm glad to get some help. Nina? I'm out of the hospital. I um, got better, so they released me. Besides, I couldn't exactly be absent for my first night of the job. Not that I don't appreciate your dedication, but I don't know how a guy like you could recover so quickly. why she said I could handle both my platoon duties and this job. Um, if you don't mind me asking, why are you working up here? Yeah, well, that's kind of a long story. My parents were totally against the idea of me coming here, so I ran away. As a result, they don't send me any money at all for tuition. So what brought you here? Swellany was the only school that offered me a scholarship, and I thought that it was better than nothing. Especially for an orphan with no money. I'm really sorry. I had no idea. Huh? It's fine. Want some? Thanks. This tastes delicious. That's the most popular meal to go that you can order from the cafeteria. Speaking of meals, this was delivered to my room today. Want some? 
It sure looks good. It smells good too, doesn't it? It's making my mouth water. Then help yourself. All right, if you insist. Looks tasty. I just hope it tastes as good. Nuts? This is incredible. It puts the meal I brought to shame. Want to trade? Um, sure. As long as you're okay with doing that. Of course I am. Thanks. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> I wonder if he'll say it's the most delicious thing he's ever tasted. You're acting weird tonight. Who are you talking about? Oh, no. Sorry. I wasn't talking. I was just uh, singing. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was so delicious. Consider this my way of saying thank you. You're welcome. It's really good. Did you order this stuff too? No, I made it. You need to make your own drinks if you live in Zwalni. The drinking water here tastes stale. Living in a Regios can get stale too. The thought of spending your whole life inside the same one can make you feel like a bird in a cage. That's probably why some people get on the buses that travel to the other cities. They get to experience things that the rest of us don't. I was jealous. I wanted to be one of those people. So I decided to come here. Was Yasmin and told me no. So you ran away, huh? And that's the reason why I have this glamorous job. It's hard work, but it does pay well, and a military arts education isn't cheap. But that's where my true passion lies. Not that I'd expect you to understand that. Well, back to work. We need to finish up since the competition's tomorrow. Wait, it's tomorrow? Oh yeah, did I not mention that before? <sighs> if you knew we had to clean all this tonight, then why did you let us spend so much time talking? I told you it was gonna be a long story, so quick griping! But I've gotta get some sleep! If I don't, I'll be no good tomorrow! Hey, you had the time to talk, so you got the time to work! Move it! It's getting late! Who cares? Work! I am! Go faster! So sleepy. So sleepy. It's good that you're made of such strong stuff. Because if you weren't, we would have had to withdraw. So thanks for making it. Let me wish you all good luck. If anyone needs luck today, it's you and your platoon, maggot. With you in command, I'll be surprised if your unit lasts more than five minutes out there. <laughs> this match will determine our standing in the next municipal challenge. So stay sharp. I sure hope Leafy does well. Uh, of course he will, especially now that he's got one of Mation's delicious homemade meals in his belly. <laughs> Oh, my. Why did I get a chill just now? The rules are simple. The 17th platoon will attack and the 16th platoon will defend. He's the head of military arts. Treat this like a real municipal challenge. Yes, yes sir. sir. Now, take your positions. The competition between the 16th and 17th platoons will now commence. As a safety precaution, we must request that all spectators remain seated behind the protective barriers at all times. Since we're attacking, there are only two ways to win. Wipe out the enemy platoon, or take down the flag behind their lines. How can the defending team win this? They can either protect the flag until time runs out, or they can take down the opposing force's leader. In this match, that leader is me. Since I'm their primary target, I'm gonna act as a decoy and lure them away. That'll be one fearless move. Leipon, get to that flag. Sharnid, you cover him. Roger that, boss. Enemies are... Restoration! <laughs> Watch out! Get out of here! Restoration! Sharni, Leipon could use a little backup! That's easier said than done. That new student's responses are pretty pathetic. And his K-channeling is rather poor, too. Trust me, don't write him off yet. What exactly are you hiding? Swellney always gets students who are young and immature. 
Perhaps the importance of this match hasn't sunk in and he thinks it's just child's play. He needs to look at it more like it's a matter of life and death. I tried to impart how important his skills were for this city's survival. But for some reason, our new student is still lacking in motivation. Seems he's not the only one. Your sister is as well. Those two are uninspired. And Shar needs undisciplined. The whole platoon's a mess. You should reassign Nina Antok to another platoon so she has a chance to succeed. I offered, but she refused. So let's see how she and her platoon do in this match. Who knows, they might surprise you. I doubt it. Knowing this bunch, I think the only thing they're gonna achieve... ...revation that one needs. Restoration! Sharnid, what gives? Why aren't you helping Leifon? He's too close to his sparring partner, so I can't get a clear shot. Belly, what's taking so long? Why haven't you found the enemy's base? Because I'm currently at my limit. <laughs> haven't improved over the last two years at all, have you? I'm not surprised. It's impossible! You still had that much strength left? I sure did. Now I'm gonna use the rest of it, and take you down! Just like last time, you came close, but ultimately you failed! <laughs> Start the countdown. This match is almost over. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Come on, at this point, the 17th platoon would need a real miracle to win. If you want to fight alone, then you're gonna lose alone! How does it feel to know you failed once again? No. It's longer. I can't lose again. But I can't hold on much longer. She's about to lose. See this. I'm really sorry, but somehow I burned out my Daite. I've never seen that happen before. Your cane must have been too strong for the Daite to contain. But don't worry about it. We'll just figure out some new settings for you. Dude! 
Way to go! Where have you been hiding those claws you just unleashed? Scratchy, scratchy! <laughs> Oh, Nina! studying management now. I figured that if you could make a big change in your life, then so could I. Of course, I made mine here, and you... Why are you crying? Uh, I don't really know to tell you the truth. It's my heart. It, it just felt so full. Sayo, is that... Could it really be? I'm sorry. Uh, hello there. I'm Shinora Alesra. And you are? Liren. My name is Liren Marfis. You know, I think you and I are going to be great friends. Hold <laughs> <laughs> oh, your hand with just a little extra left over. No, this, no, yes, no, this, no, this is what no, I've been no, looking no. for. Uh, no! Oh, Liren, you're the best. Would you please let me go? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, thank you. I'll be here all week. Winning that contest has really helped with our fan base. There's twice as many as usual. Dude, don't you think you're being a little rude? It wouldn't kill you to sign an autograph or two. I love you, Shiny. Thanks. What's your name? Um. Shower before a night out sure is great, huh? You gotta make a good impression, especially on a first date. Hey, what's wrong, fella? You don't take showers? It's very easy to be spied on here. I don't think you have to worry about that, not until you fill out a little more. Oh, sorry. Hey, how'd your Daite hold up out there? Perfectly fine. <laughs> um, I'm good to go, buddy. No issues here. Man, you guys are no fun. Where the heck is Leif on? You were really quite impressive at the competition. Of course, that's to be expected. In the spear-shelled city of Glinden, the Keeper of the Heaven's Blade is a title of honor given to the 12 most gifted warriors. These elite military artists possess mysterious weapons that are beyond the comprehension of most outsiders. Yeah, so what's your point? I'm sure you realize I don't have the Heaven's Blade anymore. If there's nothing else, I'll be leaving. I don't understand. Why are you still working in the machinery department? Your tuition has already been waived. What else could you need? Nothing at all. I don't want to be in your debt. I didn't know it bothered you. The Leifon Alsif I heard of was a man in need of money, not a man of honor. A man that would use his special abilities for his own financial gain. Well, I don't know where you're getting your information, but it's not accurate. That's not me. I see. 
Then who is Lafon Al Sif? I'm dying to know. If I'm mistaken, enlighten me. I'll pass. It's really none of your business. Don't be so naive as to think you can give anything but your best. Believe whatever I have to. And what about your sister? Her too? Yes, that's exactly right. Her too. Do you feel like trading dinners again tonight? Your test to enter the platoon. You lost it on purpose, didn't you? Lafon, with powers as incredible as yours, why would you hide them away like that? I don't get it. I was born in Glendon. The city is constantly moving, gravitating towards contaminoids. See, I grew up in a world of violence. For military artists like me, it was normal to fight the contaminoids on a regular basis. But you know what? I never felt afraid during a battle or worried what the outcome might be. Victory was the only option. The other alternative was death. I used to love fighting. There was a time when the military arts meant everything to me. But now I think I'd like to try searching for a different path. But why? That life just isn't for me anymore. What's the point of continuing on when you've already failed? Swellney stopped. Huh? Swellney! The city? The city's consciousness, an electronic spirit! What is it, Swellney? Did something happen? What are you doing? Swellney! Let her go, now! Wait, stay back, don't go near them. <laughs> what are you doing here, you worm? Oh, I have close ties to this city. What, you maggots didn't know that? Nina! What is it? <laughs> Nina! Don't interfere. You're a spirit thief? Huh? Wolf Mask Moth, third platoon. <laughs> oh. It's time to squirm around in Ignatius' flask, little fishies. <laughs> Don't! These things are way too dangerous for you! It <laughs> sure is one hard headed young lady. But I guess stubbornness does have its virtues sometimes. By the way, you won't be able to get a connection from Zwelny. Guess somebody must have given you some bad information. Sorry you had to get mixed up in all this. Hey, who are you? No hard feelings. I would tell you my name is Dixerio, because when you wake up, you won't remember anything. Nina. Oh. Nina. Huh? An electronic spirit.
sell this thing, I could get a whole lot of money, kid. Schneibel is the only city with a copy system that can... The electronic fairies mean more to this city than you'll ever know! Shut your mouth! to mind your own business! <laughs> That electronic fairy gave its own life to save Nina, so she could live on. But she changed after that. Nina decided that weakness was a sin. Being unable to protect who you want, losing the people you die to help. She doesn't want to experience that ever again. And that's exactly why Nina's desire to become strong is so powerful. Me and Nina grew up together, so I've got a good idea of how she feels. I'll be right back, okay? <sighs> Thanks for coming. You really helped. Sure. I was happy you got in touch with me. Bye. A successful capture! Roger that. Mission complete. You remember meeting us at the entrance ceremony. My name's Meepy, and this is Naruki. Uh, what? Now come on, Meishi. You've got something to say, don't you? <sighs> Thank you so much for saving my life that time at the entrance ceremony. Hey, don't even worry about it. It really wasn't that big of a deal. What? Oh, yes, it was! I wrote an article all about your exploits, and now, bam! I'm on staff at Weekly Lookin'! Anyway, based on the heroism you displayed at the entrance ceremony, and also transferring to the military arts, joining a platoon for the limelight, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, sure. So what's up with the rope? Oh, remember? Nari wants to join the municipal police! Yeah, that's why I practice my rope binding techniques almost every single day. And Meishi wants to work in a cake shop, so all she ever does is make delicious sweets. Uh, I... Yeah. Look who it is. She's from the 17th platoon! Capture her at once, Nari! Roger. I got her. Let her go! What are you doing? I'm Meepy Roten, journalist with Weekly Look In Magazine. I'm doing a follow-up piece on your newest platoon member, Lafey Alsi. Can I get a few words from you and the rest of the 17th platoon? What? For the magazine! What? They're pretty okay, actually. I don't think they're bad people. I'm not concerned. That bit with the rope was the most fun I've had in a long time. You actually enjoyed that? But 
I am disappointed in you. Your actions seem contradictory to things you've said. Yeah, I know. Honestly, I don't think I should stay this way either. Then I forgive you. But as punishment, from here on out, I will refer to you by your new name, Fon Fon. Hey, you're joking, right? Senior, please! I don't like being called senior either. It's far too formal for me. I will require a different term of address. But... What will it be? Now you shall call me Feli. And you shall be known as Fon Fon. But I don't like that. Were you well, or were you not called Leafy by those girls earlier? Well, yeah. But that wasn't my idea. If you don't care for Fon Fon, I will have to think of a different name for you. Lay, Lay Lay, Way Lay, May Lay, or Hey Lay. So which one do you prefer? Well, all of them are sort of... Fine then. How about I call you Lay of the Land? <sighs> Top of the morning to you, Lay of the Land. Well, good afternoon, Lay of the Land. Have a lovely evening, Lay of the Land. That's embarrassing, isn't it? If you know that, why are you saying it? <laughs> oh, fine. Fun, fun it is. <laughs> Madame Elshira! Wait! It's out of the question. Please! Now that Leif on Elsif is gone, we must proceed according to the custom, so the Twelfth Heaven's Blade must be decided in a competition. You fool, do you even know what it means to be a Heaven's Blade? Any keeper merely chosen by rote can eat <coughs> shit. And never mention a competition again! <sighs> Cano- ah! Oh, Your Majesty! Still, I'd like to think I'm more beautiful than that. How the people around you haven't noticed at all is simply a mystery to me. Of course, even with surgery, a lowly person such as I would pale compared to Her Majesty's beauty. Think not of me, though I may be harassed, I may be tormented. If Her Majesty has decided to return to the palace, I'll gladly... It might just be a little longer now. Wait! What do you mean, might? You can't! And stop using Kay to look younger and then lie about how old you... Who the hell do you think you're talking to anyway? No matter how skilled of a Heaven's Blade Keeper you may be, the power of a queen is infinitely greater. Got it? But it doesn't make any sense. You said you already had your fill of the life of a normal woman. You were just about sick of it. It's quitting time. That's what you said. Well, didn't you? Please, please, oh, please. Come back. We need you. The other Heaven's Blades would obey me. They would listen to anything I said. Stop crying. I do recall what I told you, but I've encountered someone whom I have to protect. Do you understand now? I can't stop being Shinora Alesra yet. Thanks a lot. Meeting that girl was extremely important for me. That... Sire, we've got to get out of here, right now! Stop! We're on shoot! to accompany you. Everything that I have is yours. Good. You can count on me. I'll protect you. Now stay close to me and we'll find our way out of here and figure out how to survive in this world together. 
This is our bond. This is the deal between you and me. Yes. There they are! Three, don't move! Now where's the fun in that? Tell me, what happened to Gadosh? Is he doing all right? Don't know. Are you telling me the truth? Or do you just not want me to know? Look, this is how the deal works, lady. The boss gives us an assignment, we do it, and then we get paid. Plus, we get a nice bonus if we pull it off. And that's all we need to know. So what are you two anyway? Mercenaries or something? Sure, something like that. Protest. How long till we get to the hotel? Ten minutes. So, Philly never showed up today. She must be really sick. Huh. That'll be all for today's training. Hey, come back! Have a good one! So, how's the rest of your day looking, newbie? Oh, I really shouldn't make plans because I've got to get to work tonight. Come on, dude, we were given the rest of the afternoon off. You can't just waste something like that. Plus, there's this great place I know that you've just got to see. Well, guess as long as I'm not late for work. should be coming right up, gentlemen. May I take your order, please? Here you are. Look at him. Is this restaurant the best place for Major Babe watching or what, dude? Wait, that's the reason you brought me? Welcome, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> what can I get the two of you? I just can't believe this. You're working here now? <laughs> Stop it! If I keep laughing like this, I'm gonna die! <laughs> I think I can arrange that. This is my own fault. I should never have let that jerk find out I was looking for a job. That was my first mistake. Oh, hey. You're looking for a job, huh? Well, look no further. I know the perfect place. Thinking I could trust that guy was my second mistake. What he has coming. Since you insist, I'll go to the facility tonight to confirm that it's clear. Please see that you do, Vanze. However, I didn't find anything amiss during my previous inspection, so to be honest, I don't understand your concern. Where is she? Oh, bingo! Here. What can I get you, sirs? Think I'll take a coffee, please. Me too. And your phone number. <laughs> I'll be back soon with your coffee. Excuse me, miss. Um... Never mind, I'm good over here. Philly! No, 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 no! <laughs> Smile, girlfriend! Turn that frown upside down. Let the customers see your pearly whites. Now listen, you're a hard worker, sweet thing. You really are, okay? But that little face of yours is so stiff. So change it. Go practice smiling a little. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Dude, have Hello you ever seen welcome. Feli crack a smile before? Um. Mm -mm. Of course not, because she's a nanny operator. They say they're bad at expressing emotions. You see, what happens is that they always get a ton of information going into their brain all at once. But the thing is, handle, right? 
So what Nenny operators do is block out their emotional responses. You're right. I think I've heard about that before. Since all their emotions get processed in their heads, it's really rare that they ever make any expressions at all. But it's not impossible, dude, and that's exactly why I'm here. Huh? Feli's pretty popular with all the guys. If I can get a picture of her smiling, I can sell it for a wad of cash. Well now, let's try this again, shall we? Um, hello and welcome, sir. <sighs> I suppose we can't fit a square peg in a round hole. Very well then, we'll just have to go the attractive yet aloof route instead. <laughs> well, let's give it a whirl. I'd like one iced coffee, if you don't mind, miss. What'll it be? Uh, I guess just some tea, please. Oh, my. I knew it! I just knew it! The outfit paired with that aloof... Um, uh, miss? I'll have a cup of tea and a piece of cake, and make it snappy, please. What are you doing in here, big brother? Nothing much. Just observing the student morale. I can assure you that's the only reason I'm here today. I'll be right back with your order, sir. Let me know if you want anything else. Not another kick, Felly. They hurt. Hey, I'm gonna go home now. Wait! There she is. She's coming out. What do you two think you're doing? Ah! <gasps> Fine here. Felly, I'm... You're sorry, I know. From now on, I have one. Shady, come on. That's a little harsh. No, it's not. Being forced to use this is. Sorry, but I have to go. Senior Felly? No, Pon Pon. Huh? I said don't call me that. Um, I meant, uh, Felly. Yes, what is it? What made you decide to get a job all of a sudden? Actually, it wasn't all of a sudden. I'd been considering it for quite some time. Since I was a child, my parents and those around me have always thought that being a nanny operator is the one and only path for me. I don't agree with that at all. People should be allowed to make up their own minds and decide their futures for themselves, and that's exactly why I came to Swoni, so that I could discover my own path. However, it's just like you said about yourself the other day, Pon Pon. What? I can relate. What you told me. creepy if you ask me come on don't be like that i can't do this job alone you guys everything will be fine you'll see mm -hmm. i'm sorry but <sighs> oh belly didn't see you there i'll take that job uh -huh. <laughs> whatever it may be i'll gladly do it
This used to be the research facility of the alchemy department. But 30 years ago, a big accident happened here during an experiment. People were injured and even killed, so this place was locked up. The powers that be never tore this building down for some reason. And it's said that the spirits of the victims still roam these... I, investigative journalist Mephi Roten, will explore these legends in an article for Wiggly Lookin'. Oh, and I hope you guys don't mind, but I can't afford to pay you for your help. <laughs> I can't tell if she's angry. You should have told her it was non-paying jobs in the beginning. Hey! She's the one who volunteered to come with us, remember? I understand. <sighs> oh, thanks! Well, that's one problem solved. Here's one that's not. Isn't this building supposed to be off-limits? <laughs> Look, don't be such a stick in the mud! Besides, something like that can't hold a journalist back. Maybe, but it can hold back a cop. And since I want to become one, I think I'd better get going now. <laughs> Hey, wait just a minute! Aren't cops supposed to protect the public, including but not limited to scared girls? <sighs> so what's that you got there, Mation? Some food I brought. Hey, we're out investigating a haunted building, not going on a picnic. I know, but I thought we might get hungry, so I made sandwiches. Gee, thanks. Talk about killing the mood, Mation. We'll eat later, okay? But you're in for a real treat, Felly. Her food is really delicious. It totally is, but don't eat too much of it or you might end up getting really fat. Maybe <laughs> stop. Ooh, spooky. Now if I can just get a picture of a ghost. Mephi, hurry up. Sure, so you'll have to wait. <sighs> I'm sorry. Mephi's dream has always been to become a journalist, so she's really dedicated to this stuff. I see. Mation, did I tell you? I put in a work request to the municipal police a few days ago. Oh, really? Does this mean you'll finally get to work on the police force? I don't know yet, but I'm waiting on pins and needles until I hear back from them. Hey, don't worry, Naraki. I know you'll get in. I sure hope so. Police work's always been my dream. Awesome! Well, I guess that should just about do it. <laughs> What's that over there? Excuse me? Would you care for one? I made them myself. <laughs> What's going on? Mephi! <sighs> what happened here? Mephi? Mephi! <laughs> Telling me what you're doing here? Why are you here? What was that thing? It's only a guess, but 30 years ago there was an attempt to create an artificial life form, one that was designed to fight off the contaminoids. Based right here in this building, it was called the Guardian Project. The Guardian Project? These guardians or protectoids turned out to be failures, so the project was halted and this place was shut down. Are you saying that creature was one of those things? I don't know. All I do know is Kalyan is about to have this place demolished. I've inspected it before, but he wanted me to double-check that nothing was left behind. That creature was definitely not here during my last visit. I don't know what's going on. What about you? Did you come here alone? No, with friends. They were taken by that creature. Thing approaching you! Um, I wasn't using my nanny. I'm not even gonna try and fathom why you wouldn't, but you better use it now because this is an emergency. Use your Nenny terminal to locate your friends and request immediate backup for us as well. Hurry up! This isn't a drill. People's lives are at stake here. Restoration. <laughs> I found 
found them. They're in the basement, and their bioactivity signs indicate they're unconscious. Is everything all right? The Guardian Project. What's the situation? Bonsai might be in trouble. We're on our way. Just promise me you'll be careful and not try anything foolish. overcome by fumes from old chemicals? And that's what made us pass out? Let this serve as a lesson on why you shouldn't trespass in a restricted area. I can still write an article about our experience here, can I? I guess that big frown means no. <laughs> Sally! I'm so glad that you're all in one piece. But didn't I already tell you that I was okay? Yeah, guess I had to see it for myself. Belly! <laughs> you scared me to death! Didn't I tell you not to do anything foolish? Let me get a good look at you. Are you injured? You're not, thank goodness. <laughs> Don't ever do that again, Kay? You had me so worried. Feli has been a contradiction since childhood. She's gifted with Nenny, but doesn't want to use it. She says that she wants to find her own path, but really hasn't done anything to pursue one. She's just a kid. Even so, she took action tonight. That she did. Feli has a true gift, but she has to be guided carefully so she doesn't waste it. Is that why you transferred your sister into the military arts department? So you could watch over her? Let's just say that wasn't the only reason. You're overprotective, Kalyan. Changing the subject. We can only assume that thing was a guardian that had been sealed away. But of all the times for it to rejuvenate, why now? Yes, it is puzzling. This is really delicious. I truly envy the other girls. They found their own paths. I'm sorry, I shouldn't bore you with my troubles. It's fine. By the way, senior... Uh -oh. Philly, speaking of paths, were you able to find yours yet? You shouldn't presume that just because I used my nanny tonight that I've decided what to do for the rest of my life. Um, uh, you're absolutely right, I shouldn't. Yeah, I'm sorry I said that. You saw that, didn't you? Um, uh, no! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I, 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 oh! Hoping the highway would have gotten us out of their turf by now. I'll step on it then. Do it. <laughs> What's that? 
What is that? Hey there, Remis. Zid! Have you heard of inhuman beings? They're literally non-human creatures. Near the boundary, Aurora particles can leak from insulation space and cause major deformities in the natural laws. That's how the damn things are created. Wait a second, are you talking about that rumor about the holes in our Aurora field? Yeah, I've heard about that. It's some kind of pollution, isn't it? They say it's not really dangerous to people as long as you're not close to the field's boundaries, isn't that right? Oh, yeah. Try to tell them that. Stupid. Even a baby spider knows rushing past strand formation and going straight for web making is biting off more than you can chew. Now get on your feet! When I was young, all I cared about was getting stronger. But then I came to Swellney, looking to change my life. Motion response! Look out! Life on! <gasps> What's going on? We're practicing. You're gonna need to get your head in the game. Yeah. Tomorrow is the big competition between the 3rd and 11th platoons. That means we have the day off. You can come with me and watch the competition or get some rest. I'll leave that decision up to you. You don't have to tell me twice. See ya! Hey, what are you gonna do? Watching the other platoons compete might be a good learning experience. Uh, well, the thing is, I... I've already made some plans, actually. Okay. Looks like it's just you and me, Nina. Guess I'll see you there. Hey, Nina, what's up? I don't know what you did in the past to fail in the military arts, and to tell you the truth, I don't care. But... In order for the 17th platoon to keep on winning... To keep growing stronger... We're going to need your strength. Think about that, Lafon. <sighs> to keep growing stronger. Right. But for that to happen, they're going to need your strength, aren't they? <gasps> Hello, Fon Fon. Oh, oh, hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> Oh, come on! What was that for? I simply open the eyes of a certain someone so that our leader's words don't influence him or make him act foolishly again. You heard what she said to me? Worry about what other people say and you're guaranteed to make a fool of yourself, you know? That, that's just... What? Do you disagree? Uh, if that's the case, then you're guilty too, because the other day, even you... What's that? Uh, nothing at all. That whole incident was nothing but a fluke. Besides, I'm continuing to explore other alternatives in order to figure out what I want to do with my life. Hey, I'm Naruki and her friends on my day off. That's rather small. Well, you start small and slowly but surely... That's too small, Fon Fon. Where is he? Look, there are lots of things I'm thinking about doing, but I just can't. You know, between training and cleaning at the machinery department, I just don't have the You're time. You're just making excuses. Hey, they're not excuses. Go away. Don't follow me. I'm not. We just happen to take the same route home. Leafy. Leafy. Oh, no, he's gone, isn't he? Those two seem close. I wonder what their deal is. Hey, what are you two doing here? They are in the same platoon. You know what that means. They've spent a lot more time together than the two of you have. If I were you, I'd be careful. Poor Leafy. What if he gets snatched up by a senior, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding. Besides, we wouldn't let that happen to you. We've totally got your back. You don't need to worry about anything. This from the girl who's always stirring things up. It all comes down to tomorrow. Stick to the plan and it'll work out. Right? Right. Oh, so Naruki and Mifi can't make it. 
well, you see, they were kind of understaffed, and Nephi had to, um, well, she's, she's, uh, she's working on a big story for the weekly look-in. Wow, those two sure are working hard these days, huh? Well, what should we do then? Should we call it off? We could all get together some other time. Either way is fine with me. I mean, uh, whatever you think is best. Sorry for the wait. Enjoy your meal, folks. <laughs> this looks great. They say there's usually a line out the door here, but it's empty today. Yeah, that's true. I guess it's not as busy today as it usually is because everybody's off watching the competition. Well, I think we got lucky, actually. There's nothing wrong with a little peace and quiet, you know? I suppose you're right. Quiet's good. I wonder how May she's doing tonight. I hope everything goes as planned. Well, it's gotta be more fun than sitting here eating noodles with us, right? Guess so. So we didn't show after all. Nifi? Is everything okay? Hmm? What's wrong? Are you worried about the competition? Uh, no, I just... I'm fine. No big deal. That was delicious! You know that place is famous for its sweets. I've been dying to eat there for a long time now. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize you wanted anything else. I guess we should have ordered some dessert, huh? <laughs> it's okay. Here. Wow. Did you bake these cookies all by yourself? Yes, I did. I made them for you. Do you want some? Uh, yeah, sure. I probably should have told her I don't like sweets. Uh... All right, let's dig in. Well, do you like it? Mm, oh, delicious. I'm so glad. Nephi told me that you wanted to become a baker, but I didn't know you already knew how to make such delicious cookies. Amazing. Thank you, mm. but I think that you're the amazing one. You were incredible at the competition the other day, and you were so cool, so confident. Making these desserts is the only thing I'm good at. Hey, that's not true. You have a specific goal in mind for yourself, and now you're already making some major strides towards achieving it. I'm sort of envious, to tell you the truth. Huh? I wonder if I'll ever find my purpose. Will I, Liren? Our situation is grave. Over 30% of Zwelny's legs have sunk deep into collapsed ground. As a result, movement is no longer possible. So we can't get out, sir? Under normal circumstances, we would be able to extract ourselves unaided. But this, it's not normal. At the moment, we are completely overrun by these larvals. Did he say larvals? Does he mean young contaminoids? But sir, I don't get it. The city should be moving to avoid things like this. It shouldn't be happening. It doesn't make any sense. The city can only avoid threats if they're attacking from above ground. But I'm afraid we've stepped into a nest. A dormant mother went underground to lay eggs, and we're right in the middle of it. 
Every last one of those newborn larvals are starving. Normally, the mother would offer herself up for food once she's finished laying the eggs. But this time, it's different. Because another nutrient source is close by, the mother won't sacrifice herself. I hope you all understand the danger we're in. I've already advised that citizens evacuate the city. All right, now listen up, students. Get your diving and evacuating of all civilians. You'll serve as the core of the contaminoid offensive. This isn't a drill, people, so you'll have to fight with everything you've got. Do you really think we'll be able to beat these things? It's our only option. Students, we must defeat these creatures. The only alternative is death. For the sake of the city of Zwelny, our home, we have no choice but to defeat them. We've been assigned to the Northwest Sector along with the 9th Platoon. Where's Feli? Why can't we get a hold of her? Nina! Where have you been? Don't you know that we've come under attack? I know all about it. We're in big trouble. We have to get out of here right away. What are you saying? Listen, we need to get to the shelters. We have to evacuate. Evacuate? Don't be ridiculous. There's no way I'm running from this. You don't get it. Those are contaminoids. A bunch of students with no real battle experience banding together won't... Won't have a prayer? That's right, they won't. This isn't a game, Nina. It's not just some competition between students. Every one of them is going to die. And so what if we do? What's your point? Tell me, what else are our powers for? Why do they live inside each of us? To protect those who are important to us. And you shouldn't either. Your life's been peaceful. You don't know what you're saying. Leifon, you're different. You're not like the rest of us here. So you tell me why. With all the power you have, why are you running away? Why won't you stay here and fight with me? Because you have no idea how terrifying the contaminoids really are. You're naive. You don't know what it means to take them on. If we don't stand up to them now, then when? Now move! Nina! date tomorrow. There's no way I'm gonna die today, not like this. I won't let these monsters be the end of me. Restoration! There's no reason for me to fight. doing I need you to make two different settings for this Daite hold on two settings you heard me senior I need your help with the larvals are doing the attacking that means the mother has to be sleeping somewhere nearby I need its precise location find it Feli this is a surprise now even you tell me to use my nanny if you don't help me, everyone will die. Feli, we're the only ones who can save them. Please. Amazing. You're so hopelessly soft-hearted, aren't you? Do 
There's way too many of them. Fall back. Fall back! Wait, don't run away! Stay at your post! If we don't stop them, we're finished! Damn it! Look, there's no time to explain right now. Just get out of here, please! But I don't... You have to go! Look, I can handle the larvals myself, but if the mother calls for backup, then we're all in big trouble. <laughs> outside of the city. Any more than that and even your lungs won't last. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't die on me, Pom Pom. as well need to begin with this because I wanted to stop fighting. Restoration zero one. But now I fully understand. If I want to keep living, this is the only option I have. This is it. Because this is the world that I live in. I'm so glad you're all right. You're an idiot. Did you know that, Leifon? To go flying out of the city with no gear? You must be crazy. <laughs> I suppose that was a little on the careless side, huh? <laughs> Leifon! I'm sorry about that. I think maybe I overdid it just a little bit. I'm gonna take a quick nap. Huh? Uh, hold on! What exactly do you think you're doing? Hey! Now wake up! I'm serious! Get off of me! Leifon! Oh, forget it. Rest up. You did a great job. Congratulations on your win! Huh? Leifon? Lyrina? But the... 
the name. Sounds like a girl's to me. Who is she? A friend? Or is she someone who's much more than that? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> hmm? Oh, I get it now. What are you trying to hide from us, Meishi? <laughs> My investigative eyes saw more than just nothing. Give it up, or we're gonna tickle torture it out of you. I don't have anything, really, I swear. <laughs> Nari! Coming. <laughs> <laughs> What does this postmark say? Glendon? Yeah, the spear shelled city. He's a pretty secretive guy. This Liren. Is she his girlfriend? I was trying to find out. Was that wrong? No, not at all. Um, yeah. Restoration. Who knows? Maybe physical damage to the body has little to no effect on K output. Speaking of which, can you keep doing that for me? Sure thing. It's too bad about the competition yesterday. Yeah, guess I was pretty tired. Mina should have let you sit it out, since you single-handedly took out those larvals. The other platoons were mobilized, too. Doesn't it tick you off? You did all the work, but didn't get the credit. You destroyed all those larvals, but nobody knows that, except for a handful of people. You saved Zwelny, but everyone thinks it was the group. Let them believe it then. It's okay with me. What's okay? Huh? What's going on? So, Harley, dude, are they ready yet? Sure are. I did make them to your exact specs, although their range isn't great. Yeah, well, they're not for sniping, so I don't care. Restoration. Hand to hand combat incorporating a gun. For a small platoon like ours that only has a few members, it's a good idea to learn multiple skills, like this one. There are two types of people who try to learn this stuff. On one hand, skilled experts. On the other, just idiots, <laughs> trying to look cool. And of course, I'm one of the idiots. Uh. <laughs> Sharnid, did you practice this in your old platoon too? You used to be in another platoon, right? Because I think I remember Nina saying something about that once. That was like a year ago, dude. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Uh, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> I just don't know if I can do this. But somehow I have to. Come on, Mason, pull yourself together. This letter. It's none of my business, so I'm gonna give it back to Lathy. What? In person? Just stick it in his box so he won't know you were snooping. Mm-hmm. No, it was wrong of me to try and pry into Lafey's personal life, so he deserves a proper apology from me. I... Oh, well. It's the right thing to do, so let's get it over with. Where do I start? Lafey, you won't believe what happened! Oh, Lafey, there was a silly mix-up and I got some pure mail. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Are you looking for Leifong? Uh, He's probably inside there. Uh, Do you two have plans? Uh, I'll tell him you're here. Oh, no! Thanks so much, but that's okay! I didn't come here to see him! I was... Uh, I was just, um... Passing by! Yeah, that's all! I'd love to stay in chat, but I've gotta go now! Thanks again! What's all that? Oh, I had to confirm something about Leifan. Confirm something, huh? What about you is he trying to confirm, dude? Uh, I really don't know. Wait, this is about you, and you don't know what's going on? I'm sorry I'm late. Nina's the only one not here. That's weird. Don't tell me I woke up for nothing today. Sorry to keep you waiting. 
Nina, you're late. Don't worry about today's training. It's canceled. Huh? You can all train individually if you'd like to. You're dismissed now. Hey, Feli, what's wrong? Uh, not with you, I meant with Nina. Oh. I don't have a clue, so maybe you should try asking her instead. However, I doubt she'll voluntarily offer you that information. You're right. Hey, uh, are you busy? Well, um, no. I'm not since training's been cancelled. Why? It's Callian. He says that he has something that he wants to discuss with you in private. Your brother wants to see me? Yes, but I don't have a clue what it's about. All he told me is that it was very important. As for me, I'm cooking dinner tonight, so I have to go shopping now. Will you come with me? Need some help? Felly? Okay, I'm cooking, so just stay there. Okay. Can I help? Didn't I tell you to stay put? You have cooked before, right? Of course I have. Don't be stupid. Sure. If you say so. <laughs> what is it? Well, it's just... Most cooks peel the potatoes first. That makes them a whole lot easier to cut and to cook later. a hobby of yours? No, not really. You see, back at the orphanage in Glendon, it was just something that everyone did together. You cooked with boys and girls? Tell me what that was like. Well, we did learn how to peel potatoes. <laughs> it's delicious. Well done, Leifon. Mm, thank you, but honestly, this was very simple. Simple or not, I am grateful for it. This is the first home-cooked meal I've eaten in a while. Oh, really? Why is that? <laughs> it appears that you're still in pain from your recent wounds. I'm fine. That's good. I apologize to the police. The police, Chief? Yes, we were discussing some thefts. We've even delayed some roaming buses that the police suspect are involved. Oh, that reminds me. I almost forgot to mention it. One of your friends has applied to work for the police force. Naruki Gelni, I believe it is. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you didn't leave it in a room somewhere? No, I had it while I was waiting for him. I just checked the lost and found. It hasn't been turned in. <laughs> hey, is it okay if I try talking to Leifi about this? You, Nari? But why? Well, let's just say that I've got something else to discuss with him. I'd like you to take a look at this. That last attack convinced me that we must take a much more proactive approach when it comes to defending this city. And as a part of that effort, we launched an unmanned probe. It sent back that image from approximately 500 kilmils ahead of our current path. Your thoughts? I think you've got a good reason to be concerned. But why? What is that thing? Well, it's a contaminoid in Elder. Harley. So, that's the reason why it was confirming my K-output earlier. Am I right? You're quite the perceptive one. No. I'm not being sarcastic. It's an honest compliment. Kellyan! Until recently, Zwelny's been peaceful. But for some reason, it now continually seeks to encounter the contaminoids. I don't know why this is, but the one thing that I do know is that the only way for our city to survive is to rely on him. I'm gonna take him out. Remember the time limit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, hell. The boss better give me a bonus for doing this one. Okay, Saya, gun me. Here. You bitches will regret coming after us.
Thanks for having me over. I really appreciate it seeing you. Um, I mean, Felly. Hey, Bon Bon. Huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. See you tomorrow. The really fun are they? Contaminoids that have ceased to reproduce. With each passing year, they grow stronger and more deadly. These elder contaminoids. Have you ever defeated one before? Only as part of a trio, but I thought we were going to die. Hey, Lefi. What's up? Naruki, what are you doing over here? It's really late, don't you think? Yeah, but I needed to ask if you've gotten anything special in the mail recently. Special, huh? Kind of um, like a present? Well, I suppose you could call something like that a present. Hmm, no. Nothing like that, Naruki. Okay, thanks. Crap! I can't hear a thing they're saying, can you? I wish we were closer! <gasps> That's the leader of Leifi's platoon, right? I wonder where she's going. And at this hour, too. Weird. There's something else? Mm-hmm. And to be honest, it's the real reason why I came here to see you tonight. The truth is, I'm trying to get a job with the police, and I was hoping you could help me out. Hey, but why? Well, you see, there's this certain case, and the chief, when he was interviewing me for the job, he found out we knew each other. He said if he's to get hired. Interested? Um, well, I... Yeah, I know. You've got a crazy busy schedule, and with all your platoon duties and your job on top of that, if you decline, I'll understand. But I'm hoping you'll say yes. Um, what happens if I say no? Would that screw things up on the force for you? They wouldn't reject your application or anything, right? They wouldn't dare! I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> I know it's a lot to ask. It's just that I really want to become a police officer. That's been my dream. <laughs> hey, you mind if I sleep on it? Of course not. To worry, I've already delivered it. Huh? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm eternally grateful to you. You're welcome. Gotta go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Why did I just tell her that? <laughs> who finally showed up. You missed all the fun, Felly. Training in the hot sun all day isn't my idea of fun. Whatever. You're dismissed. Unless there's something else, I'll be going. She's in a good mood. Mind if I use the shower first? I stink. Go for it. Nina and I have training to do. No, that's okay, Leifon. You can leave too. Uh -huh. We're going to stop training in tandem techniques for a while. Why? Have I been doing something wrong? I've decided it's not necessary. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I guess I'll get cleaned up and go. Liren, who's that? Thank you. By the way, my name's Formid Garin. And I'm the chief of police here in Zwelny. Uh, hey. hello? Now let's get to it. So we're... Clean up the machinery department. But if someone on the force could possibly pull some strings, I might be. Okay, then. I'll call your boss personally to make sure it happens. You head out with Naruki. <laughs> Good luck. They're disguised as a caravan selling magazines and digifilms. However, they're thieves after Zwelny's data. And you're sure that they're criminals? What kind of proof do you have? Well, we have an eyewitness. But what we need is hard evidence linking them to the crime. That's why we delayed their bus's departure. Oh. The student council president mentioned that. What? You mean you actually spoke with them? I had a meeting with him last night, about something we're both working on. 
Look, I'm really sorry. Forcing you to help me when you're already so busy wasn't right. Hey, it's not like you put a gun to my head. I agreed. Yeah, but I pressured you. And I did it in a really underhanded way so you couldn't refuse. I'm glad to help you out, Naraki. So this is okay? It's not! I doubt you're aware of this, Leifan. So let me fill you in, all right? Elite platoon members normally never do this. Police work is beneath them! Well, I can't speak for the members of other elite platoons. But as for myself, if someone says they need me, I'm glad to help. Drop your weapons! These thieves, there's your hard evidence right there. I'll take care of these guys. Restoration zero one! Looks like you got him, Leifan. So what's gonna happen to those guys? Hmm? They'll be labeled as convicts, put on a roaming bus, and exiled. We confiscated all their belongings, too, including all those data chips. I wonder what kind of price those will fetch. A big one, I bet. You mean, you're planning on selling them? Yeah, what's the problem with that? Tracking down their original owners would be near impossible. By selling those chips, we can begin using the proceeds to benefit the city. Anyway. Good job. You really proved yourself here today. And you should expect to receive an official hiring notice by mail very soon. Thank you for everything, sir. I don't think he's a bad person. Me either. But his attitude about the money and the way he didn't even try to hide it... I don't know. It just doesn't seem... Are you kidding? What do you mean? He doesn't believe what he's doing is wrong. And he's not keeping the money for himself. He's giving it all to Zwelny, and I think that shows that he's got principles. That's what I mean. Hey, by the way, what was that that you said about something in the mail? Uh, yeah... About that. Stop! Swellney's gone! Again? Where's Nina? She's always able to track Swellney down. You know, that electronic spirit sure can be a real pain in the ass. You've got to stop sneaking out like this, Swellney. You're a troublemaker, aren't you? It's a letter to Leifon. <laughs> no, you can't read it. <sighs> I understand how you feel, though. <laughs> He's lonely? I promise I'll get stronger. The locker room? Yep. I was going to give it to you last night, but you never showed up for work, so... Oh, I'm sorry about that. I had to work on... It's okay. Don't even worry about it, all right? Uh... Huh? Are you busy? You're not? Then can you come to the training hall right now? Are you going to be able to use this? Hmm. Well, it's a little heavy, but yeah, I think I can make it work. You're satisfied. Uh, Thanks a lot. You ruined my hair, Pong Pong. Let's get back to the lab and go over all this data ASAP. But what about your classes? Who cares about that? It's hard to think about classes when Zwellny could run into contaminoids at any minute. And while we're on the subject... Huh? Uh, oh. 
To avoid unnecessary panic, my brothers ask that we keep this matter between us. Yeah, I know. I got it. So is that why you came here to pass that along? You're upset? No, no way. You're very cooperative, aren't you, Fon Fon? If you dislike it, then why don't you say something? Because uh, it's the only option we have, isn't it? Unless we know more about the contaminoids, we won't make it. You do realize if this mission goes according to plan and you succeed, my brother will continue using you. Yes, that's true. But I don't think of myself as being used, I'm just helping out. The truth is, if somebody died because it just stood by and did nothing, I couldn't go on. And I guess that's it. You know what, Pom Pom? You're such an idiot. Hey, that's not very nice. Such an idiot. That late one sure is awesome. This thing is gonna keep me super neat. Sub. So you guys stayed out all night too, huh? Uh, no, I not exactly. We just uh. Hey, man, if you guys are out partying, you should let me know. Sure, whatever. I gotta go. Damn. Get ready. Fight. <laughs> Are you all right? This is why the third year students don't want to spar with you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Come on, don't even worry about it. And please don't take this the wrong way, but you do remember that I'm a girl, don't you, Lefi? <laughs> Listen, I'm not stupid. I know they're not the biggest things you've ever seen, but it's still pretty unflattering when a guy doesn't even notice them. Uh, no, that was just a... Honestly, I really didn't mean to... Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's no big deal, okay? <laughs> hey, what's up with her? Do you think she's acting a little strange? Yeah, she is. I noticed that. Listen, there's something I should probably tell you. You really saw Nina going somewhere all by herself in the middle of the- Positive she just got off work, right, Leafy? Yes. All right, here it comes. She's going so late. Could that be my scandal sense tingling? Is the leader of the 17th platoon having a hot, torrid love affair? Hey, stop that. What do you mean? I hope she's okay. I don't get it. What in the world could she possibly be doing? Restoration. <laughs> this every single night that's reckless she's pushing herself too hard if she isn't careful she could end up getting really hurt her thing now she's practicing outside of her normal classes on top of her cleaning duties at the machinery department this is just too much why is she doing this because her platoon lost the last competition no that isn't the only reason i think i understand why she put herself through something like this it's because of you you're too powerful lefi Remember that time you helped me out on the data theft case? I felt the same way then. It would be almost impossible for me to fight alongside someone like you in a battle. And that made me feel awful. And frustrated. And to be honest, a little jealous. Your platoon leader wants to become as strong as you are. And can you blame her? After all, she is your commander and a fellow military artist. I mean, it's only natural for somebody like her to want to become stronger and more capable. At the end of the day, a warrior has to stand alone. If you want to become stronger, you have to do it all by yourself. Yeah, but the 17th platoon's a team, not one person. Huh? So to get stronger, why don't you guys try and do it together?
threat coming after us. Swear, I never thought I'd see the day when a third year student collapses like some amateur. Seems her K artery is shot. Well, will she get better? The procedure I just performed should strengthen the K flow, but she won't be able to move for a while. Now, I'm sorry, but I have other patients to attend to. Look, don't worry. Once we're finished with your friend, I promise she'll be good as new. Um, right. Thank you very much. Well, I suppose things could be a lot worse. I swear, she's always been like this. Once she sets her mind on something, it's like she gets tunnel vision. Ah! Uh, um, you think we should cover her up with a sheet? Well, the doctor didn't say anything, so maybe we shouldn't. You perverts. Ah! Where'd you come from? You got it wrong. We weren't looking. Only a pervert would say something like that. As for why I'm here, these are the results that the probe brought back this morning. Swalney isn't changing its paranoid's location by tomorrow. Oh, crap. That's not good. I better get going now. I have to finish the Ottoman Daite. My brother has an assignment for you. He wants you to go out this evening. I understand, Feli. Okay. See you later. Will Leafy be okay out there all by himself? With the platoon leader in the hospital, there'll be lots of things he'll need, right? Then we'll just have to take care of him, won't we? Leafy won't be able to do this all alone, you know. Well, you're already awake, huh? Typical. Leifon? Guess I must have collapsed from fatigue, didn't I? Yeah, you used too much augmenting K. Have you been here, watching me this whole time? Uh, well, no. I screwed up, huh? No way, I don't look at it like that at all. Why don't you? Getting that close to death teaches us something about ourselves. Something we wouldn't have known otherwise. It's a journey we have to go on alone. Yeah, but look where mine ended. What a joke. At first, all I could think of was the 17th platoon. I just wanted to be strong enough to win. You're so strong. When I first saw your power, it terrified me. I thought, is he even human? I realized that you were, of course, and one whose strength could finally put our unit on top. And you did that. In fact, you did it so well that I became convinced our platoon was stronger than the others. But then we were defeated. And I tried to tell myself it was a good thing. Because I was wrong. And that event showed me the error of my ways. But if that's true, what can I do? How can I win? Nina, were you aware of the disruption in your case, Soku? When that type of disruption happens, your body's telling you you're wasting too much energy. I mean, it's your entire life force. It's the foundation of your K and the source of your power. And ideally, we should live our lives by it. The K Soku? Mm hmm. You need to realize that you're not in this alone and how important you are to us all. When it comes to fighting, I know full well how to get into a battle all by myself. But when it comes to leading a team, I'm worthless. The whole crew needs you now. Whether or not we become the most powerful platoon we can be depends on you, Nina. So decide. Leifan, you idiot. That's the last thing I would ever do. Those sounded like last words to me. So I guess you were listening. I used my nanny to eavesdrop. Those weren't my last words. Given the situation, it wouldn't be unusual if they were. I don't know. I do. Well... I don't plan to lose. How is it? It's a male. Probably a fourth or fifth stager. You can tell by how much the legs have atrophied. 
Typically, contaminoids cast off their legs every time they molt. Anyway, now's my chance. I'd better make my move while he's sleeping. He's molting. They're hungry after they've molted. When a food source was near. Wait, what are you saying? We've got to hurry. We don't have much time. This is a first term elder. We're in big trouble. We'll be lucky if we could defeat this thing before it destroys half the city. Restoration zero two. <laughs> Hey, feeling good? You know, that's not really a smart question to ask a sick person. Absolutely not! Still, I never figured you the type to collapse from fatigue. You gave everybody a bit of a scare there, Miss Platoon Leader. Sorry, I feel pretty bad about that. Ah, oh, come on, don't be so hard on yourself. Nobody expects you to apologize. Anyway, that's not the issue. I dropped by to talk about something else, actually. What exactly would that be? Sharnid, stop! What's going on? I know what I'm doing here. I think it's about time our friend Harley filled us in on his little plan. So, what do you say, bud? Everybody's got secrets, but certain things, well, sometimes they're better off out in the open. Don't you agree, Harley? So, tell me. What are you guys up to? Huh? What are you getting Leif on to do? Oh, I can't say. No. One wing off. Falvon. Feli, how long have I been out here? A little over a day. Swelly already changed course during that time. It did? I tried to tell you. Right now it's moving away at considerable speed. So get going and come back here as quickly as you can. I can't do that. You must. If we allow this man Welny in a matter of minutes, I have to stop him right here. If I can cut off his wings, that'll buy us some time. Trust me, we'll need it. I'll fight him off as long as I can. <laughs> team will come for me if I defeat him. But can you do it? Look, your die tastes pretty fried. You really think you can beat a contaminoid? More blow. If I could get one good strike on the forehead, he'll be done. All right, let's create a diversion then. Huh? That monster's hungry. If a food source is directly in front of it, he'll make right for it. Trust me. Nina. Use your enemy's actions to bring the situation to your advantage. Come on, it's the only way. No, Nina, I can't let you do that. Let's hope there's a canyon nearby we can draw him into, or we might be in big trouble. Nina, I can sense one 20 kilometers ahead. Feli, <gasps> you 
could project your ninny this far? The contaminant has begun moving. Hurry. Roger. Don't worry. I'll keep us safe. Look, Lathan. I'm the platoon leader. It's my job. I'll protect us. Right. I've got your back. The you grew up in, isn't it? From now on, I won't let you do it alone. You have us to back you up. We're a team. We fight together as one. out there. Oh man, talk about lame, huh? We take that monster out looking all cool. Ow! In the end, I got a little bit off kilter, didn't I? As far as I'm concerned, you saved our lives back there. But you know what? This victory belongs to the whole platoon, our team. We can keep counting on you, right? Can't we? Uh, yes, of course. Hmm. What? Well, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. It just occurred to me that you might have a thing for younger guys. Or am I imagining uh, things? What? Where'd that come from? Oh, please, give me a break. I do not think of him that way. He is my subordinate, you know. <sighs> You're no fun. What? What did you say? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Uh hey! Hey! Thousand eight hundred and seventy six kill mills plus. Oh, no, dummy, you can take a deep breath and start over. <sighs> this isn't the easiest topic to write about. Come on, the significance of communicating information in terms of intermunicipal exchange. I wish I could write a report about a subject that's more inspiring than that. <laughs> I just know you're going to excel, and best of luck in the future. Most sincerely. Lathan W. Alsif. <laughs> Since when has he been able to write so eloquently? So, I'm curious. <laughs> Are you in love with the smell of paper or with the person who sent you that letter? <laughs> Are you okay? No, you scared me! You shouldn't startle people like that! My apologies, miss, but there's something I need to talk with you about. With me? Yes, but before we go any further, let me assure you that I am not trying to pick you up. Why would you even say something like that? Because most girls are thinking that when I approach them. I just figured you would too. Pretty overconfident, aren't you? Do you really think so? Because people have told me that before, but I don't have a clue where they're getting it from. Uh, what's going on? Wait, is this... it's the roof. 
was taken up because time is too crucial for you to waste it talking. But we were ordered to be discreet about this. Using your power is anything but that, Lee Intense. Wait, did he say... <gasps> Both of you are Heaven's Blades. You're Savalus and you're Lee Intense, aren't you? What do you want with me? Got it. Thanks, Feli. So two, huh? How do you want to deal with both of them? Well, I'll leave them to you while the rest of us stick to the plan, all right? Yeah, roger that, Captain. With the way they're working together, the 17th should win this match. Maybe, but... But what? There are wild cards in this game. And not just for the 17th, but also... But how? That's right. Corneo hails from Glendon, the same city as Lafon, doesn't he? Yes. What's more, he's the younger brother of Savalis Lucans, a keeper of the Heaven's Blade. You could almost say it's fate. Not likely. You won't it. Lafon. Temper transformation, Hardy's fierce thrust! I'm not done with you yet! In fact, I'm just getting started! He repelled my entire attack! Leave him to me! Shante, what are you doing out here? Fire King! Great projectile flash! Why aren't you guarding the flag right now? Because if we take him out right away, his platoon won't have a chance of winning. Don't be stupid. They can still win this without him. Look! <laughs> what is he doing? A thousand man attack. To think he's even mastered this technique. Shante, find him. <laughs> Do you think complimenting my K technique will get you a handshake from me? No, I don't. Hey, you! This isn't over! You're going down, you hear me? If it's the Shantae. last thing I... Oh, damn it, Corneo, let me go! That guy's toast! You better watch your back, buddy, because I'm gonna be coming for you! All right, we did it. Let's celebrate. sing next, handsome. If you don't, that little girl's never gonna let go of that mic. I don't think so. I do sing, but I never do it for crowds in places like this. When exactly do you sing, then, gorgeous? <laughs> Only when I'm alone and with a special someone. Mm-hmm. And is there a special someone here you want to sing to tonight? Uh, mm -hmm. this is awkward. Hey, Sharni, you did really great today. Thanks, Nina. It's been quite a while since you've gotten to fight in the front line, so how was it? <laughs> Not bad. I love the looks on the fifth's faces when they saw I could use Jusho Jutsu. It took time to learn, but their expressions made it all worth it. Yeah, I'm sure it did. Your mastering close-range combat skills is a serious benefit to the platoon. These new techniques you and Leifon have learned will increase our strategies. Won't be long before we're totally undefeatable. Come on, Nina, admit it. I'm the bomb, aren't I? Yeah, all right, I suppose so. But just this one time, I admit it, you're the bomb. 
think you better watch it, or that's gonna go straight to his head. I know, that's why he's never gonna hear it again. That's mean. Sorry. You'll like this, Luna. It's good. Thanks a lot, Harley. Hey, I'll take some too, dude. The bomb can go get his own things. The hell? Hurry up and do it, Moshi. No, I don't think now is the right time. What are you saying? If you're not gonna give it to him now, when will you? <laughs> Good night anyway. I want to feel the world, this world, and beyond the vast darkness. I just don't get it. He's your enemy, right? Of course he is, but I mean, come on, we couldn't just throw away a competition. But it was the perfect opportunity. You don't know when you'll get one like that again. It's okay. And trust me, no matter how much time passes, my anger won't fade a bit. Really? Mark my words, Lefon Alsif. I'm gonna make you pay for your crime one way or another. It's her! Why are you here? I'm not obligated to answer that for either of you. Oh yeah? That's the 17th for you, the same guys who let a coward into their ranks. I guess you're a coward too! What do you mean? What the? You don't even know?! Shante! What did she mean? Did you come in later? I thought I'd come in a little early so I could see Zwellny for a bit, but she won't show herself. Oh, okay. Hey, when we're finished, do you think you could spare a few minutes? Huh? I came up with this great strategy for the next competition. I'd like to hear what you think. What is it? Well, to be honest, it's you. Uh, you enjoy fighting, don't you? You even look forward to it. No, that isn't true at all. Okay, who am I trying to fool? Of course it is, and I enjoy every bit of it, Leifon. I'm really happy now. We're winning, and that's something I've dreamed about for a long time. There was a municipal challenge. It was two years ago. At stake was ownership of a Cernian mine, which is critical for the survival of every Regios. It was a grueling and dangerous challenge. We came so close. Victory was almost ours, but in the platoon. I remember they were so happy, cheering and hugging one another. That's when I thought, that's what I want. To stand with my team after we've successfully protected our city. To be victorious and share our happiness together. Bit by bit, my dream's finally coming true at last. I feel it. If we can keep fighting, we'll win. Fighting? That's why you're happy? Yeah. That's where you and I differ. I've never been happy about fighting, not once. It doesn't matter what kind of victory you achieve either. Because in the world we live in, winning has no real meaning at all. What are you talking about? Oh, there you are! The student council president's calling you! I wonder what he wants. We're here, sir. Thank you all for coming. Do you have any idea as to why I've summoned you? Not again. The contaminoids? Not for us, thankfully. But they may be involved in this matter, though. What happened? Hmm? Wait, I'm being targeted? Me? It appears so. Sorry, but just to be safe, Leentons and I will be watching over you covertly. I don't understand. Who's after me? And why? I believe we said no questions. 
guess I'm just imagining things. <sighs> and no doubt about it, these are the best. These! So perfect, so round, so squeezable. You've got the best ones I've ever seen. Oh, Shinora, it's you! In fact, I'd rate your chest a million points. Shinora! Should I assign points to a person's chest? Or jump around on a steep flight of stairs? Hmm, you don't say. It is reassuring to know that I've got two Heaven's Blades watching over me, but even so, I'm really worried about this. Well, you shouldn't be. They said they were doing it just to be safe, didn't they? They did, but still. The only thing we can tell you right now is this has something to do with Leif on Alcia. It's getting dark. I better get home now. Promise me you'll be careful, all right? I will. Bye. Bless. Yes, Your Majesty. What can I do for you? Now, didn't I tell you that you were forbidden from calling me that here? Right. You certainly did. I'm sorry about that, Queen Alshira. <laughs> uh, that's something else I'm not supposed to call you, isn't it? I do apologize, Shinora. Jeez. You're such an idiot. The Eighth Gate is now on standby. Please complete land roller inspections ASAP. The current temperature is 13 It was attacked by contaminoids? We don't know. All we do know is that it's along our current path and has stopped moving. Unless something changes, Walney will reach it in three days. Oh, okay, so you go and check it out, see if it's safe, and then come back, all right? Good luck with that one, Nina. You're coming too, so wake up and start getting changed, you slacker! Yes, ma'am. If we weren't in such a rush, I might have had your new Ottoman Dite ready for you to take along. A new one? Yeah, it's more of an anti-personnel weapon, and lighter, too. But because of that, you can't trade out different Daites. I need a little more time with it, and it should be ready. Well, <laughs> better get back to it. Bon bon. Yes, senior fella? Yes! Sorry! I don't understand why we're going out with the 5th platoon. Oh, well, according to the student council president, none of the other platoons have enough atmosphere suits. That's what he told you? I think he's full of it. Well, I'm ready to move out when you are, oh fearless leader. Oh, hey, Sharni, sorry, but could you do me a favor and ride with Feli instead? Uh, sure, I guess. Here's an idea. What's that? We could settle it now, make it look like an accident. It's not that easy. You saw how powerful he was, didn't you? Yeah, but still, couldn't we try to take him by surprise? If you think he could be defeated like that, you've got another thing coming. Remember, he's not some pushover, but a former Heaven's Blade. Yeah, well, so what? Who cares? I still think you're a lot stronger than he is. I thought I finally understood things a little better. What? But I don't get you at all. That came out of nowhere. So did winning has no real meaning. I still can't get over you telling me that. I wouldn't give it too much thought. I just said what I was thinking, that's all. But you still meant it, right? Yeah. Winning a competition means gaining strength and confidence. It's something we need to survive. Do those things have no meaning either? Look, there it is, coming up to the west. Are you gonna answer Let's me? Let's discuss this later. The outer gate's busted. Looks like we're gonna have to enter from the top. Before we do that, Feli, can you tell us how things are in there? I'm only getting fragments, but I don't sense anything dangerous right now. Captain Antok, this is the 5th platoon. We finished our recon around the east gate. How's it look? The dock is completely destroyed. Captain Lukens and some of the others are now trying to enter through a damaged external section. Lafon, can you get in? Yeah. Restoration 02. <laughs> Will you take me as well? Sure thing. Hold on tight. Get ready. We're going up next. Roger, boss. You don't have to do that. I can guarantee this place is safe, Fon Fon. It's kind of a habit of mine. 
I always like to make sure for myself, you know? But it's unnecessary. If you're going to waste energy like that, at least try to be more... Feli. Well? No bioactivity. Air filters? They're working fine. As you can see. Creepy, this place is a real ghost town. I think it's safe to say this place was attacked by contaminoids. Yeah. We should look for survivors. Right. I don't know if we should get our hopes up, guys. If they sought shelter, what about that plaza up ahead? Yeah, let's go. Oh no. The monument's been overrun. This is... What's the matter? Do you know this place, Nina? Yes. It's Gondwaria, the city we fought two years ago. Yeah, you're right. And they defeated us in that battle too, didn't they? So what the hell happened here? And just how long has it been since the city was attacked? Who knows? Maybe they got hit right after they beat Zwelny. No. No, this is impossible. After beating Zwelny, Gondwaria had strength and coordination were second to none. That means nothing. I told you. You can't be right. You can win a battle, or a mine, but it doesn't matter. Not to the contaminoids. <laughs> Nina! Can I ask you a question? Of course. What is it that you would consider a victory? For me, it's just about surviving. Both for myself and all those I want to protect, too. Victory is when none of us die. Grace were a military artist, but you know all about that. After all, you are the one who forever sullied the name of the Heaven's Blades and was expelled for your crime. Is that true? sullied the name of the Heaven's Blades and was then expelled for your crime. Heaven's Blades? Yes. That one was a keeper of the Heaven's Blade, until he brought shame upon his sword. Lafon? He fought in underground tournaments for money. He was banished from Glinden as a result. That man... Liren. That I can be here like this, starting a new life and all, is thanks to you. Back in Glendon, you always told me that I could accomplish whatever I set my heart on. And the only thing I desire right now is a new life. But I also realize that my past can't simply disappear. In fact, my military arts skills have gained me some unwanted attention, and they've put me on a different path than I'd anticipated. If I continue on it, it could end badly. Enough! I want to believe it'll work out, though. I want you to believe that, too. Oh, and I really hope you're enjoying your management classes. I just know you'll excel. And best of luck going forward. 
Sincerely yours, Lefon W. Alsif. Sorry to make you do this. No problem. You've gotten more students, haven't you? That's right. Two more as of last month. I'm so glad. I just knew things would work out somehow. Thanks. Oh, did you ever write a response to that letter from the authorities? Oh, no. Papa, they're going to get mad at you again if you don't respond this time. So? You really aren't concerned with anything except training students in the military arts, are you? The orphanage at all? No. Why? Well, I've been thinking that perhaps it's time you should. You ought to be enjoying your life with people of the same age, and as I recall, you have many dear friends there, don't you? I'll be happy to talk to them for you. Thank you, but I can't let you do that. They're not my friends anymore because of what happened. Lyran. It's because of Lathan that you cut ties to the orphanage. And so did I after I defended him. I made a choice between the orphanage and Lathan, and I'm sticking with him. You have that look on your face again, the one that says you won't change your mind no matter what I say. Exactly. <laughs> Besides, I've made a new friend. She lives in the dorm on campus. She may be a little strange, but in a fun way. <laughs> It's gone now. It is? That thing. It felt like it was human, yet somehow not human. Its presence, however, was familiar. Well, anything out of the... I want to apologize for my tone earlier. Aside from Alcif, I have no animosity towards the 17th platoon. If I gave you the impression that I did, then I'm sorry. These Heaven's Blades you mentioned, who are they? They're keepers of special blades, just 12 of which exist in the entire world. Only the most powerful of military artists sanctioned by Glennon's royal family may wield them. Lefon was one? If you don't believe me, then by all means, try asking him yourself. Hold on. Why is it that you're holding a grudge against him? Is it simply because Lathan acted improperly while he was one of these Heaven's Blades? <laughs> no, it's nothing as self-righteous as that. The reason for my anger is strictly a personal one. Oh? Yes, Gahard Baron, my senior back in Glinden. What happened to him? Lathan Alsif, your platoon's newest recruit, disabled him for life. And for the sole reason of hiding that he competed in underground tournaments. <laughs> I won't let my feelings affect the mission. However, I'd like you to try to keep us apart as much as possible. Trust me, it's for the best. Uh, nothing over this way, either. If the contaminoids got in through the upper section, then you'd think the civilians would have fled if we started searching the lowest level. This is very strange. Not only are there no survivors, but we also haven't found a single body. Well, maybe the contaminoids were hungrier than usual, and they just gobbled everyone up all at once. No, even if that were the case, there still should be some remains left behind around here. Remains, huh? Uh-huh. I've seen it several times. Oh, yeah. Right, somehow I forgot. You're a straight-out of Glendon badass warrior. Uh, whoa, dude, come on, chill out, all right? I was kidding. No, actually, what you said is true. Huh? Man, you sounded convincing just then. Lathan. Yes? Could I talk to you, please? Yeah. <laughs> I hope she rips that coward a new one. I'm not gonna fall for the same trick twice, you idiot! Hey, did we just hit something? Done out. Well, a match about to qualify the next Heaven's Blade. Hmm. So do you think he retained his awareness somehow? The man we're chasing? Impossible. His body's been overtaken by a mutated contaminoid. A parasite that controls him. He shouldn't retain any kind of awareness or memory at all. Then why this? Because that parasite's not the only thing that's got its hooks in him. 
There are also things such as jealousy, anger, bitterness, resentment, hatred, and of course, revenge. He remembers. This may be more than just a conscious memory. It's probably not even something he's aware of. Think of it like a white shirt stained with a single drop of blood. It can be washed over and over again, but to no avail. It's permanent. It's so ingrained in the fabric, now it's part of it forever. And so are those unpleasant traits our guy possesses. Lathan, my mind hasn't changed, and I trust you to use this time as far as you're able in walking toward your goal. However, a frightening and curious thing has happened. For some reason I was aimed at, targeted by... I shouldn't tell him, he'll just worry. <laughs> Why are you acting so crazy? That really hurt. I'm the one acting crazy. You're the one who snuck in here and scared me. Sorry, I thought you wouldn't be wearing a bra this time of night and wanted to check. I'm not. I hope you're happy. No bra gets 10 million points. Fine, whatever. Wait, uh, hold on, please. What is it? I just want to remind you to take precautions due to what's going on. You did tell me that someone's after you, right? <laughs> Did you know that you left your door unlocked? Even so, that still didn't mean you could enter. I was going to creep up behind you and then... <laughs> wow, you managed to dodge me. Your gropings become really predictable. <laughs> You're safe now, Liren. Uh, are you sure, Shinora? Uh. I'm positive. I have to go. Hmm? My father. I have to check on him. Osobolus? Yes, ma'am. Don't let me down. Lathan. Try as I might, I'll never forget that day, no matter how long I live. For you, it was like coming upon a fork in the road. And for me, well, it was a signal that the life I'd lived up until that point was over. Why? Fighting in underground tournaments. <sighs> Damn it! Why, Lathan? I did it so I could live. How do you mean? For all of us to keep surviving at the orphanage, we needed one thing. It was money, of course. I simply did what I had to do to get it. That was why? You shamed your blade for that? You disgraced the military arts and crippled someone who threatened to expose you just so that you could live? <coughs> I did, and to me, both the Heaven's Blades and the Military Arts were nothing more than things I needed to survive. I pursued the Military Arts back home in Glendon to become strong, so I could keep living, not for strength's sake. That was it. I don't believe that. Stay alive! Is that wrong? Shouldn't you always do whatever it takes to live, no matter what that is? Leifon. I can't accept that way of thinking, and I'm shocked that you do. Yeah, I thought you wouldn't. My friends at the orphanage felt the same way. All of them except one. Papa! Is that... Restoration. <laughs> Let's hear for our winner, folks! Leifon Elsie!
deadly care or say something Papa no please Where are the thought of losing you too Everything's okay. That thing's gone now, Lyran. And don't worry about your father. He's all right. But I need to... All you need is rest. <sighs> Canaris. Where's Savalus? I don't know. <clears throat> Was it a mistake for me to entrust this task to that idiot? Very well, then. Canaris, you take over here. So does this mean you're returning to the palace? <gasps> Five points. Wow, so you spotted him, huh? Well done. Those are Leanton's infamous steel strings you're stepping on right now. So I done to that ugly mug of yours. I do want to thank you, though, Gahard. Because of your condition, I get to kill a contaminoid. It's one of my favorite things to do. It really is. Not gonna work. You not to move, didn't I? Is Leifon the only thing you can say? Guess it must have really ticked you off, didn't it? Losing to him the way that you did. It won't bother you once I put you out of your misery. I'll be sure to break the news gently to my younger brother. Younger brother? Oh no, don't tell me. You remember Leifon and not Gorneo? He idolized you. But Leifon was a child, and he still defeated me. He kept me from being a heaven's way. How did... You do that. You don't know? It's simple. It's because you're weak. I told you. Weak people remind me of the ants I used to kill when I was a kid. I crushed them with my thumb, stomped them with my feet, and then burned them to death with a magnifying glass. Now, whenever I see something that can be destroyed so hard, I'm so glad I wasn't born as defenseless as this piece of garbage. I'm grateful I was born powerful. Then I get another thought. I'm happy I'm the strong one and not the weakling about to be destroyed. Shut up! And learn some new words! Gahard, watch out! Hey, you there! Hold it! Freeze, now! What in the hell? Shante! Hey, what's gotten into you? Is that wrong? Shouldn't you always do whatever it takes to live, no matter what that is? That's just so... Feli. 
could you help sit me up, please? Um, sure. We each get two minutes of hot water. Yeah, I know that. You used over three minutes. What are you still doing up so late? I had to go take a shower. It's your hair. So that's why you smell so good. <laughs> what was that for? A kick for some... Do you always have to hide things from us? Such as your past in Glendon? Well, you see, I really wasn't hiding it, per se. I just... I'll change the question, then. Is there anything else that you're hiding? <sighs> well, no, not really. <laughs> But I'm telling you the truth! You liar. There's Liren. I meant there's more, I'm sure. Hey, Feli. Tell me, you think I'm doing things wrong? I'm sorry. That's not really something you can expect someone else to answer for you, is it? What do you say we head back? Oh, Nina! Lafon, look. I've given this a lot of thought. I won't condemn your way of thinking, but I can't understand it. Because of that. I don't think we should be in the same unit any longer. This footage is from this morning. It should be within visual distance in another six hours. Any word from our team? Earlier, the Nenny operator of the 17th platoon detected what she believes is an unidentified life form. Feli. Huh. D3. The bioactivity was in this area. Survivors? Unknown. There was way too much interference. <laughs> she has the nerve to call herself a ninny operator? Shante, a ruined city without a single corpse and now an unknown life form? This sure is a mystery, huh? If the ninny operator is unable to verify it, we have to investigate, right? Yes, I agree. Sharni, please get wait. Ready? When dealing with an unknown entity like this one, a direct approach is too much of a gamble. Uh, yeah, but... Our best bet is to allow our Nenny operator to search a few more times before committing. It's possible that the life form is a mutated contaminoid. <laughs> if it is, I'll take care of that thing myself. No, you can't. Oh, really? Leifon. <laughs> Listen to me. I agree with Gorneo. I believe he's right about this. We move out in one... Nina! You're cool with this? With what? Please be gentle with me, okay? You got it. Shante, do not make a move against him. Why not? Because this has got nothing to do with you. Fine, then. Will you smile? Gore! Get on. Okay. Dude sure knows how to use tempered K. Let's go. What took you so long? The view must be terrible from down there. Any bioactivity? No, none. Would you do me a favor, though? Could you crouch down a little for me, please? Crouch down? Sure, why? Just do it now! <gasps> 
What is this about? We're gonna get left behind. Stop <gasps> moving so much or I'll fall off. Then why don't you just get down? Be careful! Hold me tighter! How the heck am I supposed to do that? On what planet is grabbing the tips of my feet supposed to help anything? Uh, well, um, I do have my reasons for doing it, actually. Namely that, aside from being the most imprudent person I've ever met in my life, you're a pervert. If you really think that, I've got a great idea. Why don't you just get off? <laughs> you're an idiot, too. Come on now, Felly, please don't get all violent up there, okay? I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Have you spoken to her since then? Who? Our platoon leader. No. Everything said about my past is true. Nothing's gonna change it now. Competing in underground matches, hurting people, and being expelled from the- I don't get it, Pon Pon. Was there no other way? Well, there may have been. But see, back then, well, I was desperate. I wanted to live. That's irrefutable proof you've been in the underground tournaments. And guess what? If this comes to light, you'll have to forfeit your Heaven's Blade. And you'll lose all credibility. However, maybe there's another option here. Surely you'd rather give up your sword and keep your honor intact, right? Tomorrow is the Heaven's Blade qualifying match. Depending on your performance, I suppose these photos could disappear. Do we understand each other? <sighs> Leifon, what's wrong? Oh, well, nothing really. I just couldn't fall asleep. You want some? Yeah, thanks. Tomorrow, will you be all right? Huh? It's just that... For some reason, I feel so uneasy. It'll be just like that. You'll see. That's how fast I'll finish it. But Leifon... <laughs> he looks like he's gotten much better. <gasps> Shinora, it's you. How awful. He was attacked by someone possessed by a contaminoid, right? Must have been traumatic. Yes. But I don't remember all that much. I hardly remember anything. Oh, but I'm so glad. Glad I didn't lose these puppies. <laughs> I do remember this. That creature was a man named Gahard. That's right. Lefon had fought him before. <laughs> Close off the arena right away and restrain Lathon at once. Hey, what's going on? What the hell? <gasps> there are rules for military artists and nanny operators. Normal humans can't be reminded we're a threat. That's what Her Majesty said before I was expelled. Does Goneo know about all this? No, he doesn't. He knows I was in the underground tournaments. And he knows I gave his senior, Gahard, wounds that will never fully heal. That's about it. And I imagine that's all he cares to know. You're an idiot. 
Please, Belly, that hurts really bad. I mean it, Fon Fon. You're not very bright at all. Are you alright? Hurry up. We're at D1. Roger that. Is this? It could be. I'm picking up underground readings of what could certainly be bodies. So this is the real deal, huh? Doesn't that take the cake? All these graves. There's no way they could collect all the bodies and bury them, not while being attacked by contaminoids. It just doesn't seem possible. Well, if not them, who the heck did it? Beats me. I'm heading over to point D3. Hey, is something wrong? I'm picking up bioactivity just southwest of here. What? It's the same thing I felt above ground. Lapon! Come back! Uh, Gore! You wait here. Let's go! Hey, I'm going too. No fear! <laughs> 200 miles to the bottom. Felly, get ready. I'm using the scope. Understood. This realm, are you not? Ah, I can't move! Tell your people, my body is weak and has fallen to dust. It can no longer serve its intended purpose. My blackened spirit and furious hatred propels me forward to transform into the fire of change. Now I seek a new lord. I yearn to be cleansed from the inside and reborn with a new sense of purpose. Come to me, you who desires the flame. Join me and I will become the blade that sweeps aside Ignatius' filth and devours your enemies, leaving behind nothing but a smoking pile of ash. What is this? Who are you? You tell them clearly. <laughs> you are responsible for becoming your own worst enemy. I am nothing more than a tool, and as such, I have nothing. Uh, restoration! <laughs> You're white as a ghost. Uh, it's nothing. I'm totally fine. Leave <sighs> Wait, Feli, are you okay? Hey, you all right? Shit, I can barely see anything. We lost communication with her. Do you think she might be under attack? Gorneo, your teammate Shante. Where is she? What is it you're implying? I'm just asking. Don't tell me. Hey, where in the hell is he going? Nina, I need you to return to the surface. What? The unknown li earlier? We still don't know anything about them. You have to get out. It's not safe. You're telling me to abandon Belly? That's not what I'm saying. But if you don't get out of here while you can, there's a chance all of us will die. Your philosophy again, huh? Do whatever it takes to survive, right? Yes. You need to go while you still have time. Even if you make it to the surface, there's no guarantee you're gonna be safe. Layfon. He really does think he's cool. The faint light of a Nenny terminal. I'm coming, Felly. Hold on. Cernium 
fuel repository. It looks like the flow is still active. That's what I thought. Visibility here is nil. Damn! How'd you see that? You know, I thought I might run into you. <laughs> If I were you, I'd be more careful. This is so live. Shut up! You need to calm down. Tell me what you've done with Feli. Where is she? <laughs> that girl's a real pain in my ass. But Gore's enemy is you, buddy! Well, I'm relieved to hear that. <laughs> Your moves are too obvious. They're easy to see, even in poor visibility. Uh, you son Shante, of a... Shante, that's enough. Stop it. Gore. You don't know what you're doing. I don't want this anymore. Yeah, but he's your enemy, right? And he messed up your senior, didn't he? I don't want him killed. Not at all. Kill him, that's not the way. I want him to pay for his sins. That's all. I don't know. you're doing worried about him no not worried but I I'm just angry huh? he's always done whatever it takes to survive he fought people for money underground tournaments he disgraced the military arts and yet he's an idiot <laughs> Feli hey you're all right yes Corneo rescued me he saved my life nothing else matters all things become irrelevant if you're fighting to live if all the people who are important to you can survive, that's all that really counts. Yeah, I get it. What? out of their alive, isn't it? Well, I'm quite impressed. Gahard Baran. Don't forget him. I won't let you. There's no way I could, Gorneo. I've never felt that I wanted to forget what happened. But just because I won't forget doesn't mean I'm going to spend my life dwelling on it unnecessarily, either. What you say? That's the extent of the significance that Gahard holds for me now. That's all I'm trying to say. Bastard! So, I think it's about time we put an end to this. To your obsessive attachment to your senior. Restoration! Do whatever you want. Just spare Shante. Please. Well, are you coming or not? As a person happens to people, not if they aren't important to me. And yes, that includes Gahard Baran. But I realize now that's probably not the right way to live. And so, I won't kill you because it wouldn't be right. Hold on. You think you can just make this go away? How am I supposed to make you atone for your crime? And what will your punishment be? It's just like Shantae said. In my heart, I can't help but want to see you destroyed. That's the
the only way I can think of to truly release all this hatred inside. So what am I supposed to do? Do whatever you like. That's really all I can say. Because honestly, I don't know what I'm supposed to do either. Now come on. Let's get the hell out of here. I'd hold on if I were you. Here we go. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't be so reckless. You're calling me reckless? Can I tell you something? What? I hate you. I hate you so much! Yeah, I know. Oh, no, you don't. As a matter of fact, I do. No, you don't. Trust me, all right? You have no idea, Lafon. What's going on? Leifon. Mr. President? Leifon. Mr. President? You can't escape me, Leifon. Mr. President, why did you ask me to come see you here? Because, Leifon, my dear boy, you will be mine. Why? Why, Kalyan? I don't get it. What am I even doing in a place like this? Because of my terrible ordeal yesterday. I was in the midst of my duties when I collapsed. Sir! Mr. President! The doctor said I was overworked. But I should make a full recovery with two to three days of R&R. &R. Uh, well... <laughs> right. I know that. You, I guess. What I don't get is why you insisted that I come along with you, big brother. Well, seeing that you didn't have any training scheduled for the next two days, I thought it was the perfect chance for a brother-sister getaway, one for just the two of us, fellas. Are you okay? What happened, sir? How pointless. All right, Nina, that was a killer dive. What the? Philly? You're here? That's awesome. Thanks, Fon Fon. Mm. What are you doing here anyway? Well, I thought a few days here might be a good team bonding exercise. Mm -hmm. That's why, to bond. But without me, huh? Is that it? <laughs> no, you've got it all wrong, you see. Heard about what happened to the student council president, Felly. Since he's your bro, we thought you'd be busy taking care of him and stuff. Mm -hmm. The reason why we didn't invite you is because we didn't think you'd be able to join us. But somehow you still did. <laughs> Kalyan, how's he doing? Much better, thanks. Take a look. Oh, hi. Oh, Mr. President, sir. You're so funny. Well, well. Why, hello there. I'm so jealous. <laughs> wow. What an incredible coincidence to run into the entire 17th platoon here. Boy, I'll say. You know, Feli, since she is here, perhaps you could ask Captain Antok if she could teach you how to swim. What? Feli's a terrible swimmer and could really use some lessons. Stop! Why are you telling them all this? Addressing one's weakness is critical, if one wants to be rid of it. You're right. 
Now don't worry, Felly. By the time I'm finished, you'll be swimming like a fish. Here! Got it! Need a hand, babes? There you go! You're Ooh. awesome! And hot, too! So, um... Why did you bring that thing along? Why? We are planning on getting in the pool, aren't we? If I don't have this thing, I'm going to sink like a uh, rock. No, this is the only thing you need when learning how to swim. I don't understand why it's so important that I know how. Hey, come on. I mean, it's better to know how to swim than not to, right? Then why is that? Why? Oh, um, well... Because we might all have to fight in a marine battle one of these days. We live in a regio, so the chances of us ever having to fight in a marine battle are zero to none. Um, no, you don't know that, because... What would happen if some of the water tanks were damaged? <laughs> it's not going to be easy to tire her out. Tire her? Um, no. I mean, it's not going to be easy to teach Billy how to swim. She's kind of hard-headed and set in ways, you know? He is here! You're right. See, I told you my information was on the money, you guys. It's the man of your dreams, may she? Those two and the rest of the 17th platoon. <laughs> They're my weekly look-in cover story. Oh, so that's the reason why you came here. No, of course not, Nari! It's so I could hang around my two BFFs and help me sh- Leifi! Oh, hey, ladies. You're here too, Leifi? Small world. Yep, sure is. We came here to teach Meishi how to swim. Tell him, Meishi. Hey, don't be scared. Jump in. Well, I am... Um... I don't know. In fact, I don't think I can. You're gonna do it. Come on, get a grip. You can't chicken out now. Go for it. Come in. We'll have some fun. <laughs> I think getting her into a bathing suit may not have been a good idea, you know? Oh, no, it was. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. All my sources tell me that Leafy could be a real bonehead when it comes to girls, so we had to do something like this. Hey, Meishi! If you want to learn how to swim, I bet Leafy could teach you. Yeah, and you said you wanted to learn while you were here. <sighs> we really appreciate this, Leafy. I hope you're ready! Cause, Cause here, here she comes! comes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, and be careful, okay? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I'm so jealous. And another reason why it's important that you learn how to swim is because, um, well, huh? I want to learn how to swim. <laughs> All right, you're doing great. Just don't bend your knees when you're kicking your legs, okay? Okay, I think I've got it. See, you're getting better already. We've covered one of the most important things, and that's getting used to the water. So now let's practice holding your breath under the water. Okay, try moving your legs next. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're doing great. You're a really fast learner, Mason. Here goes. One, two, three, four, five. Great, come up. Nice job. Let's try it again, okay? One, two, three. That's great. Four. All right, you're doing it. Five. Way to go, Mason. I'm really proud of you. Was about to die. On the bright side, at least you know you can float now. But dead body scan too, you know. <laughs> Yo, stud. Well done, man. Those are some pretty smooth moves you made with that cute chick today. No, I was just helping her learn to swim. This looks great. Hey, what's with the weird spelling on our shirts? It's ancient text. Oh. Huh. Mm -hmm. That girl. Huh? Tell me, is she able to swim now? Um, uh-huh. Maybe a little. How nice of you. <laughs> hey, Lafon, you all right, dude? Yeah, never been better. <laughs> we have to check our dietes before we go in. Here you are. Enjoy your bath. 
So big he's in one of those, huh? Looks like time's running out. I'm gonna get Big Boy his birthday present. <laughs> What the hell's going on? Oh, it shut off. Well, put some more money in it. Me? I did it last time. Don't you want to see what happens? All right, fine. <sighs> this herbal low-frequency bath hits the spot, huh? It really relaxes the muscles, doesn't it? <laughs> it's the electricity that does it. Sure, you might feel a little jolt the first time, but once you get used to it, it feels really good. Oh, so you mean you've done this before? Wow. Yeah, I come here a lot whenever I have free time. Speaking of which, I didn't believe you when you told me why you were all out here. Sally, it was the honest truth. Please, a coincidence? You were lying through your teeth. I am not! It was one. Yeah, right. Come on, Nina. With all due respect, why would a guy like Charmed want to hang out with his platoon leader on his days off? Well, because... Because of the pool! Yeah, that's the reason he came out here. When I said I was going, he begged to come. He just did it so he could stare at girls in bikinis, the dirty perv. Sounds like him. It does, and it's just a happy coincidence that all of us are here. I'll help you with your swimming tomorrow, and I won't take my eyes off you, so nothing bad will happen. Can Not you? again! Sally! <sighs> I want to forget today ever happened. Look, I'm sure things will be fine as long as you just keep your cool and I'm natural, Nina. I didn't see you helping much today. You were too busy with those two bimbos at the pool. Hey, come on, you guys. Play nice. Mr. President, we still have the same agreement, don't we? Yes, Harley, of course we do. If you succeed. We will, sir. Don't worry. I must have. Callian's too busy being fawned over by his assistants to have met with the platoon last night. You ready to swim today? Huh? No thanks. What? what? You have to! Because if you don't do it, then the platoon will never get no. to- No! <laughs> we'll never get to see you swim, right? Yeah, that's right! Hey, now come on, Felly. Don't be like that. Offering to teach you how to swim is a really kind and selfless thing for Nina to do, you know? Yeah, it's so selfless. Yo, Felly. What? How would you feel if Lafon here taught you to swim today instead of Nina? Huh? With a different teacher, you might have a whole different attitude. Mm -hmm. What do you say, Lafon? Yeah, sure, I'd love to teach her. Uh, okay, then. What you looking at? You see something that makes you jealous? I don't know what you're talking about! Come on, what's the problem? You're always training alone with Lafon, and Felly never gets to, so why don't you quit hogging him? Don't you think it's about time? Duration. You've really gotten the hang of this. You're doing so well. Maybe you should try it all by yourself now. No! No, I can't! I don't have the hang of it yet! If you let me go, I'll drown! Trust me, you'll be just fine. No, I won't be! I'll be dead! Please don't let me go, Leifon! I'm begging you! Um, 
Well, in that case, hold on tight. Are you ready to keep going? Thanks, I'll see you later. Sure thing. President Loss has requested to speak with you about something, Leifon. Can he have a few moments of your time? Um, okay. What's going on here? You can't escape me, Leifon. Escape? What are you talking about? We're in an emergency shelter below the resort that's both soundproof and reinforced. Even if the resort above was trampled by contaminoids, this place would still survive. Why did you ask me to come see you here? There's something that I need to ask you. Oh, yeah? What would that be? Tell me, Lei Fawn. Yes, sir? My dear younger sister, Feli. You've got a thing for her, don't you? I've seen you two together, and since you're the type who strings lots of women along, let me warn you right now. Leifon, if you do anything at all to hurt my sister whatsoever, I will kill you. Got that? No, sir, you're mistaken. I was just helping her learn how to swim. Don't try to talk your way out of this, and don't underestimate how powerful I am. In Zwelni, my power is virtually limitless. Having the sleeves of your uniform tailored to fit your arms, arranging a fight between two new students on the day of the entrance ceremony, and even forcing you to enter the 17th platoon would be mere child's play compared to what I can have done to you! Oh, weren't you? Uh, certainly not. I was just saying I could do those things, hypothetically. Yeah, but you did do them, didn't you? Uh. Now back to the matter at hand. You'd better not hurt Feli in any way, shape, or form. Because, Leifar, my dear, dear boy, you will be mine! No, stop! We're just friends, I promise! <sighs> nice. I wonder what they're gonna serve for dinner tonight. <laughs> Evening there, ladies! Now get your hands up where I can see them! Don't try anything funny! If well, you do, I'll blow you away! Not you now. Hear me? Hey, you two! Get over here! You, inside! You're completely surrounded! We've got your friends in custody and we have the data chips they stole! There's no reason for anyone to get hurt! Just put down your weapons and let's end this peacefully. Then you'd better meet our demands, cop. We want safe passage on a roaming bus or we start killing the hostages. Damn it. Wish our Daites weren't behind the counter right now. For them? No, don't. Those guys will notice. Don't worry, Nina. At this range, I won't have to use strong Nenny at all. They probably won't even realize what I'm doing. Feli, you don't know that. If they figure out what's going on... Feli! Hey, man, this girl's using Nanny! 40 degrees... Don't just stand there! Shoot her! Directly to your right! Ah! Oh. Shooting there, Sharnid. <sighs> All right, move it. Why are you guys really here? Uh, that we already told you why. Yeah, it was just a coincidence. We came because your brother asked us to. <laughs> that was supposed to be a secret. Come on, why don't you tell her the truth? Uh, Feli, look, you've told us before that you were born with a large amount of Nenny, right? You even noticing. And for a nanny operator, that's like wet in the bed. 
that used to happen sometimes, but only when I was younger, not recently. Actually, it has. You just didn't realize it, Belly. Then what I heard last night was real. Callian said if your body got tired, your nanny would get weaker, which is why I kept insisting on swimming lessons. He bribed you guys, didn't he? <laughs> I'm sorry! He said that if we did this, then the platoon would get a special bonus! I couldn't say no! I needed the money to make some new tight tanks! As for me, I said, hey, as long as I can hang out with chicks in bikinis, I'll go too. <gasps> and Leifon? Did he also know? Nah, we never told him the truth. <sighs> We didn't think old Fon Fon could lie to you and get away with it because you'd see right through him. Leifon didn't know. Speaking of Leifon, where is he? Hey, I don't see Callian around here either. After all that commotion, that's a little weird. Where are those two? <laughs> now spit it out! Confess! In that twisted little head of yours, you're already calling me brother-in-law! Yes, you are, aren't you? Don't try to deny it! I told you, I was just helping him learn how to swim! That was it! Ah! What the hell? This entire place is Billy! So, you found out, huh? Wait, I can explain! I did this all for you! It was for the best, you understand, right? Come on, Billy, oh, can't you just forgive and forget, please? Ah! Guess not! That cernium mine may not be much to look at, but to me it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> and seeing as it's the only one that Swelny has, I feel the same way. We can't lose it, Vonze. If we do, we're dead. Isn't that the 10th platoon leader? Yeah, Dean D. It's funny, the previous leader of his platoon used to do the same thing. That roaming bus looks unfamiliar. I heard a municipal battle might be coming up soon. Yeah, those things are pretty big deals, aren't they? Yep, they sure are. <laughs> There's a Cernium mine at stake. We only have one mine left, and we can't afford to lose it. So what are you guys standing around for? Now come train with me. The loser buys dinner. What do you say? That sounds good to me. Who else is in? The possibility of a free dinner is too good to pass up, so sure, you can count me in as well. And do you, Fon Fon? Uh, if you can't hit a ball back, or if it touches you, it counts as one point. Whoever ends up with the most points loses. <laughs> Restoration zero one. I want a rematch. Hey, I don't mind chipping in. Uh uh, no way. She's the one who lost the bet, dude. Take this pasta dish that's listed here. Since she's paying, I'll have the ginger pork. Wait, I never said I was buying you dinner. Oh, really? Of course not. Will you at least buy me a drink? No. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Dean? Good, much like the 17th's been doing. That's Dean D. Fun Fun, the leader of the 10th platoon. But then again, I'm sure that success has nothing to do with you, and more to do with your teammates. Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, buddy. You know, the 10th has grown closer as a unit ever since you left, Sharnid. Aw, oh, really? That's so touching. And would you look at that? <laughs> Sienna seems to be in fine spirits. <laughs> hey, you're not one of us anymore, smartass. So don't call her that. Chill out. Oh, have you heard? My platoon is going to be pitted against yours in the next competition. And I really can't wait. Since you abandoned the 10th platoon the way you did, Sharnid, I'm looking forward to getting some payback, and I promise it won't be pretty. They used to be 
teammates. Sharnid was in the 10th platoon until last year. And then one day he just left all of a sudden? That's right. But why? It seems to be a really big bone of contention to that Dean guy. It is. I don't know why he left. Petition. As a result, the 10th standing dropped considerably because of him doing so. He left during? Not very responsible, huh? <laughs> <laughs> But... But what? Well... Lafey! Uh, I'm glad you're here. Can you come with me right away? Uh, okay, uh, come on! See ya, Felly. What's going on? From the looks of things, this isn't a routine investigation. You're right, it's not. We received a tip that people posing as students were selling overload. That drug that accelerates cave flow? Yeah. It causes an explosive increase in both K and Nenny production. It would be incredibly useful if it wasn't for the side effects. I don't get it. Why would they want to sell a drug like that here? Swellney. It's an academic city, not a military one. Would it even be profitable? With rumors of a municipal battle coming up, yeah, I think it would be. The dealers probably assumed there'd be a greater demand for it in a city like this one. There's t No, they are. <laughs> you sure? So our intel was wrong. Are they hiding? Uh -huh. But they're trying to provoke us. What? Hey, what's going on, man? You taking off already? No way, I'm just changing locations. See you later, guys. <laughs> Have a good one. They're coming! Down! Restoration zero one! Lay on! <laughs> Real funny look on your face there, buddy! A sword? <laughs> no, you don't! Lay on! Wait! All forces, move in! Are they? Don't let them escape! The police! Stop! Lafon! Layfon involved. Who's there? I'm sorry. But you see, I can't let anyone get past. Restoration! Oh. I don't have time to deal with you right now.
it's you. Where are you off to the knees to see your friend? Good old shine. <laughs> Yes, but I plotted some alternative routes. I'm ready at any time. You're the greatest. <laughs> Has got? Hey, you're holding back, aren't you? Come on, you've got to be. I know you're a former keeper of the Heaven's Blade, but still, you should be able to do a whole lot better than that. You must be from Glendon, aren't you? Yeah, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow native. Hiya, Celine Van Laya, at your service. That tattoo. The Selene Von Mercenary Training Group. Yep, I'm the third generation leader. A group with a proud history such as yours would be selling overload. <laughs> I couldn't care less about those scumbags. I only used them to get here, and I have no intention of helping them sling that crap in this city. Use them? Then what is it that you're after? You're not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you, buddy? Well, since I'm not here to sell overload, there's only one thing that it could be. That's the Fallen Ones, of course. What are you talking about? Yeah, the Fallen Ones. I don't understand. Hold on, you mean you really don't know? Jeez, you weren't a Heaven's Blade for long, were you? I guess I was spot on when I said you're not all that sharp, huh? Look, just forget it. Hey, did you know that your teacher and our second generation leader were brother disciples under the same master? I guess that makes you and me cousin disciples then, doesn't it? We're a part of the same Sayharden style lineage, aren't we? But still, I can't help but wonder why you're using a Daite instead of a real sword! You know, Bub, until you get serious, I'm gonna keep attacking you with everything I've got! What's the deal? You holding back like this isn't a- What happened to you? Don't tell me that losing your blade made you lose your nerve, too. Watch your mouth. What are you doing here? Me? What can I say? I enjoy taking nightly strolls. Like you do, as I recall. But my walks don't normally end with a weapon pressed against my back. Now how about yours? You always were a smartass. Don't move! I'll ask you one more time. What are you doing here? I told you I like taking my evening strolls, Sienna. Yeah? Since when do you like things like that? People do change, you know. Really, is that right? I sure do. <sighs> Sienna, listen, I'm telling the truth. I was out taking a walk and came across this commotion just by accident. I'm assuming that's why you're here, too? <laughs> of course it is. You see? Now that we know neither one of us caused that ruckus, I'm gonna put my hands down, okay? Well, I gotta go. See ya, Sienna. Charney, wait! Why'd you run out on us? You really don't know. That's why I'm asking. 
sure about that? Tell me. <laughs> I want to know why. The three of us all made a solemn promise together. Did you forget that? No, of course not. How could I? Then why? I'm gonna uphold the pact we made, but I have to do it in my own way, all right? And you believe that you can do it so much better with the 17th instead of with our platoon, is that it? I really don't know, Sienna. It's just... It's just what? Well, it's just when you start wanting everything, you usually end up losing everything in the process. In other words, don't end up like me. Later. Lafon. Nina, what are you doing here? I'm the one who should be asking that. What the hell happened? Um, well, you see, guess I kind of got in a little fight. Hey. I swear. All you ever seem to do is eat and sleep. Come on, Shante. Oh, wait a minute. I better get that report. <coughs> Who's there? Well, I guess you passed that test. Hold <coughs> on. Please make yourselves at home, I insist. Gee, thanks, but this happens to be my room. Now, why don't you come out of there, Miyunfa? Majesty, we cannot thank you enough for your generosity. No, think nothing of it. Are your wounds healed? Yes, they are, Your Majesty. I've made a full recovery thanks to the care that you kindly granted me. Please, it was nothing at all, just a minor medical expense, and one that was painfully little compared to all the effort that you've expended for this city, Dirk. I'm undeserving of such words, my queen. You've helped Glendon time and again both by your own hand and by the countless Heaven's Blades you've trained. But, Your Majesty, I have also failed you. You didn't. He did. His fate was brought about by his own immaturity and the lack of awareness regarding the world. You are by no means responsible. And speaking of Lefon, how is he faring these days, Lyran? I do recall that both you and he were fairly close. The two of you have been exchanging letters ever since he left, haven't you? Yes. Uh, I mean, yes, Your Majesty, we have! Well then, where is he and how is he doing? He's good, Your Majesty, and currently in a city called Zwelny. The academic city. He was never very good in school, so it's a miracle that he even passed the entrance examination. Was it you who taught him to study? Yes, ma'am. Good for you. So tell me, what do his letters say? He's doing okay, and he said he's made some new friends. Oh, 
I see, and so that weighs heavily upon your mind, does it? Yes, ma'am. Um, my queen? What is it, Lyran? Lathon. Your Majesty. Can he never return?